Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. As you see, our topic today is very simple. How come we cannot find the name of the God of Islam in the Bible? Uh, you know, before I start, I saw somebody making a comment. And here you see how the copy-paste word work. Uh, this person, he made a comment saying, al Mansia has a Aramaic word for God is Aloha. Syriac delict, uh, or Eloha, Eloha, biblical delict, which come from same uh, proto-Semitic word, Ilah, as Arabic and Hebrew terms. You know, obviously, people, they have a little brain, and they go and copy-paste. I search online, trying to find how Muslims they can explain to us who is Allah. And this was a while ago, but let me do it again in front of you so we can love together. And then you will see that everybody copy everybody and nobody really study and nobody search. If I go right now and I search for the word Allah from Muslims articles, I will not open any Christian article. I will open only Muslim websites. We found a website called alislam.com. Islam.org, sorry. I just click and I found it, you know, so. It say here, and let me post the link for you, just to confirm we are using a Muslim website. The name, Allah is the name of God Almighty. Let us compare between the post this person posts for us and what the Muslims are saying. Just to show you the stupidity. Aramaic word for God, Allah, Allah. Okay. Aramaic word for God. Here, Muslims are saying the name of the God Almighty. Which means there's a huge difference between saying to me, there's a word or similar word close to the word, uh, the name of Allah. But for the Muslim, this is a name. This is not a word meaning God. So while some of the naive ones, they don't know what they are talking about, we are talking now about the name, the personal name. The personal name of the God which they worship. So this is not a word meaning God. And you know, when you want to talk to, uh, to somebody about his religion, talk about his religion. Don't be stupid and talk about yours. If the Muslim, they say, this is the name of the God, then this is not a word meaning God. So when an idiot, he give us a conclusion before even we start the discussion, we laugh. Because we are talking about the name, not about the word close to it. This is the name. Now, if we ask the Muslims what the name mean, look, the name the article says, what does the word Allah mean? If you read the article, you will see there's no answer. <laughs> you know, look, look, <laughs> look at the title. <laughs> Look at the title. All of you have the article between your hands. Look at the title and look at the explanation. Where is the meaning? You see, the title says, what does the word Allah mean? So now I am a Muslim scholar. I'm not talking about myself. I'm talking about them in the website. I'm going to explain to you what Allah as a word mean. And then after we read the whole article, we find there's no answer. Look at the stupid, uh, look. The God mighty in Arabic language. The name of the God almighty in Arabic language. See, this is Arabic language. This is not Aramaic now. Listen carefully. Allah is a personal name. That's wonderful, personal name. The word Allah never been used in other uh, uh, being or uh, things. That's wonderful. The names of God found in other languages, all alternative. Mm -hmm. 
uh, this uh, repetitive and are often used in plural. So Allah is different. But the word Allah never used in plural. Okay. And until now, still we do not know. And then this is because Islam uh, ad advocate the belief in absolute unity of God. How, you, how he is one and unity of God. What the heck does that mean? If God is one, how you speak of unity? You see the Muslim translating now the word Tawheed. Because this is what Tawheed mean. Tawheed mean unification. If Allah is one, you don't say the unity. Do you, do you see where the confusion came from? The Abduls who made this article, they got themselves busted. Because they keep saying he is not in plural word. It's not the plural word, right? Never appears this way. And then at the end of the sentence, they say unity. So how Allah is united if he's one? I'm not talking about one as a one person. You cannot you be unity if you are one. You know? Unity is you, if you are one off, not the only one. One off of a group of personnel and you are united with them and that make God. So you see here how confused those people are. They do not know. And if you read the whole article, where is the word meaning? Nothing. And Adams, anyone see the meaning? Anyone can quote for me in the, in the text here in the website where it says what the word meaning? Nowhere. And then they continue saying, uh, in absence of the uh, plural word in English language, the origin, the original name of Allah has been re retained throughout the translation. Allah recognizes through his attributes. And here you see another stupid uh, statement. Attribute is a description. Attribute is a description of the one you call him God. So you can say he's great. That is an attribute. He is uh, wealthy. He is powerful. He is uh, smart. He is, he is, he is. Even though some of the attribute of Allah in Islamic religion is the most hilarious and most disgusting, you know. Uh, but we can go for that. Uh, by the way, if you are a Muhammadan, my Skype is open. You are welcome to join us. We will be happy to have you. Just be polite. And there are over 99 such attribute mentioned to, in the Holy Quran. And by the way, you will not find those 99 in the Quran. That is a big fat lie. Last time I checked them out, I think it's about 60 of them in the Quran. The rest is a fabrication. The book of Muslims, for example, uh, Allah most gracious, most merciful, Lord of the world, Master of the Day of Judgment, provide the, uh, 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 the provider, the sustainer. These attribute invoke prayer, and also Muslims encouraged to adopt attribute of Allah in the journey of life. Now, where is the answer? Hey, Muslims, I just did read your article, which is the title is "What Does the Word Allah Mean?" and what you say to me. Allah is the name of God. What is the answer? Where is the answer? What Allah mean? So you made a whole article and the title is what does the word Allah mean? And then you say to us, it's a personal name? That it what does mean? And here you notice that those Muhammadan do not know what Allah mean. Why? Because this is coming from the Aramaic language. And it is a name of the moon god. You see, stupid ones who do not know languages, they just go and copy a, a paste from the articles in the internet. They do not know that this word is not one word. This word is two words. It is Al, and we mentioned that many times before to you. Right? 
It is al lah. Al is a word meaning God. La is the name of that God. You know, in Arabic and all those languages, you add uh, A-L before description. <clears throat> like you can say, the, the two letters in the beginning, the uh, A-L, mean that. It, it can be accepted for the language today. But if we go to the origin of the language, that will not function. Why? Because in the old language, we will find that the word Al, it was the original word of even Eel. Eel in Hebrew, which is coming from the Aramaic, is a new version, or let us say, uh, an abrogated of Al. So in the in the old days, in the ancient uh, Hebrew, Israel was not Israel, was Israel. Mikael was Mikael. Gabriel was Gabriel. Emmanuel was Emmanuel. So A R like Daniel, you know. The name of the, the word uh, A-L is a word meaning God. It's not a name. Remember, it's not a name. It's just a word which means God. So, nothing changed. This is because it's an ancient name. A-L is a word meaning God. In the language today in Arabic, it's mean the. The la. But as long as they are copying it from the original, it is A-L as God. So now, and that makes sense. God, la. God, la. And we prove that many times. If we go in the Quran, in the yellow page of Muhammad, we will find, which Muhammad, by the way, never wrote this book. Muslim, they claim this is a book coming from Allah and coming from Muhammad. But until now, we don't have a zero page of that book. They don't have a zero, they don't even have one manuscript. They found one manuscript, a page, which is dated to the time before Muhammad. This is the leather, not the ink. Uh, and there was a gift from a Christian priest, which is make it more uh, uh, awkward. You know, that Muslim cannot have their own uh, uh, history, but uh, Christians have it. So look what happened here. If you go to the first verse in the Quran, the first one, not the last, not the second, not the third, not, you know. You go to the first verse in the Quran, chapter 1, verse number 1, and verse number 2. You will see two names appearing. One, it says Allah. One, it says Li Lah. Alhamdulillah. Let us see who is calling. Hello? Yes, my friend. Are you a Muslim? Yes. No, actually, ex-Muslim. Remember, I called you like... Ah, okay. Muslim. You are an ex-Muslim. Well, we said we want uh, yeah. Muslims to call us. But anyway, what do you want to say anything to us? No, I want to say that I accepted Christ and uh, I'm still trying to bring my friend, my Arabic-speaking friend, maybe okay. one of these days. All right. So, so glory be to, you, to God and um, keep doing this this is very good for everyone when i, I when i spoke to you last time remind me please i think maybe let me check from the let me at the, at the chat here in, in skype you call i called me december 31st i think that's the day i, I believe all right okay yeah you know uh, forgive me you know i have uh, you know how many people they call me so it's hard to remember who let uh, if I remember everyone who called me and he left Islam, I will not be able to count. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many of us, you know. <laughs> well, I'm happy for you, my friend. But what makes you accept Jesus now as your Lord? No, I think if you look at like um, how Jesus lived his life compared to Muhammad and his uh, fake God, Allah, and everything, so many things, to be honest. Yeah, but you know, Muhammad is still, I mean, he has some equality on him. As, the, as an example, Muslim, they say, that Muhammad, he can sleep with all his 13 wives in one night. I mean, <laughs> this is not anyone can do. We have to appreciate his uh, some sexual <laughs> equality. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, isn't it funny, guys? 
that we talk about Jesus making, you know, controlling the nature, Jesus walking in the water, Jesus making the blind sea, Jesus resurrecting people from death, and the Muslims, they talk about the power of their prophets, <laughs> their private part. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very strange, you know, it's like they focus on things that are not... No, 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 it's not strange, it's not strange, because Islam is a low, low, trashy religion, you know, what you expect from mm -hmm. someone is low, except being low, you know, you don't accept him to be high, you don't accept him to be noble, low speak low, noble they speak noble low they consider like in, in uh, uh you know uh, uh, always i say to people here uh like as an as an example like your enemy is your size your size i'm talking about not size as a physical size but your size as power so when muhammad he make his enemy a lizard you know this is his size when he making his enemy a pig this is his size when he make an, you know, so this guy is so little, and then because he have nothing, he have no miracles, he have no power, he have no proof, and he's a stupid at the end of the day, because of all those things and, and the stupidity, he come to us with the stories, which is nothing but an embarrassment. And instead to support him, we laugh. I mean, why, why somebody wanna go and say, I go and sleep with all my wives in one night? And then we find that it's not even true. But, uh, uh, but you know, like your accomplishment, when you speak of accomplishment, present who are you? So the one who went to the to the moon, this is his accomplishment. The one who built the spaceship, uh, spaceship, he this is the one who uh, make an accomplishment. What Muhammad accomplishment? You know, he had six years old wife, and he can sleep with all his wives, and the Arab keep begging him, can you give us a miracle, just one? And he cannot. Anyway, my friend, I will be happy you, that you will bring me in some Arabic speaking friends to debate me and uh, I will be waiting for them. Anything else? No, that's it. I mean, this it, it explains like why this guy, what's his name? Andrew Tate also like uh, converted supposedly, you know, because it's like it, it fits him, you know, it fits his personality and the things he likes to do. You yeah, know? it fit his personality. But I think the reason for this guy he converted, uh, maybe I should make a video about it. I think this guy is trying to seek a refuge. Uh, you know, I saw a video of him. He said he bought seven citizenship, so he can't be healed like in one country. He can escape always. So this guy, he said to himself, he knew that this is coming. He would be arrested. He is a criminal. So he was seeking an options like Zakir Naik. You know, everybody heard of Zakir Naik wanted by <laughs> India. So he decided to go to where? To Muslim country and they give him asylum. So now even Taliban, they are asking him to be free, right? So in the worst okay. scenario, he can go to Afghanistan. So this guy is just, he is, he, you know, I don't believe he converted to Islam really. I believe this guy is using Islam as a way to protect himself as additional passport. You know, it's additional passport. He is satanic, he's demonic. And Islam and him, they fit together. Because in Islam, the Muslim don't care, by the way, if he convert or not. As long as he says Shahada and they can use him for their propaganda, he is good to go. So uh, this is why none of them ask him, okay, why you don't stop your pimp business then? I mean, pff, convert to Islam. So now supposedly, did you repent? Did you become a... Uh, no, you know, he, the business is running and he's a pimp. And uh, even when they arrested him, they found a bunch of girls in his property still. So nothing changed. So... Uh, uh, because Islam is so low, this is what we are talking about. Islam is a very low, trashy. Trashy, they find refuge in a trashy religion. Thank you, my friend, for calling. And I will be happy to take your friends to call me soon. All right? Okay, once I get them, I'll probably send you a message and then I can right. probably join Thank on you. a God live call. God bless. Happy for you that you became a Christian, my friend. Take care. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Well, happy for this ex-Muslim. He you know, accepted Jesus. That's wonderful. We go back to our topic. So you will see here, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. First of all here, it's very funny and very stupid that the God who wrote this verse, I mean, to speak in such a way, Allah, he says in the name of Allah. It doesn't make sense because if Allah is talking, he will not say in the name of Allah. Imagine a God, he says in, in the name of Yahweh. <laughs> but aren't you Yahweh? You know, how you say in the name of Yahweh? You can say that if you're an angel speaking in the name of God. You can say that if you are a king speaking like you're giving, like you've been given authority from God, claiming that God, he is the one who hire you. Uh, but you don't say, if, if you are the one who's talking, you don't say in the name of Allah. Not to forget to mention that the Muslims here, even they, they have to bend the Arabic language. The word Bism is not exist in Arabic ever. The word Bism is what exists. So imagine what they did. So in order to recite it better, 
because the sound will be very horrible. Bismillahir Rahman. So this what they do? They deleted one letter and they make it Bismillahir Rahman Rahim. But let us focus on the word Allah. You will notice the word Allah here is different from this word here. There is one letter in the beginning is missing. But as you know, if Allah is a name, if Allah is a name, you cannot take one letter from the name. Are you with me? If Allah is a name, we cannot take any letter from the name. We can take letters of a name if there is additional letters attached to the name. You know what I mean? If it's attached, we can take it off. So if I say Mr. Uh, Mr. John, well, Mr. is not his name, you know. I can take it off. John, his name is John, but I cannot take the J in the beginning. I cannot take it. And this is the same in Arabic. If it is in the name, we cannot delete a letter from the name. So you will notice with me here that the first letter here in Arabic, in the front of us, let us let us highlight it. The first letter here, A, does not exist here. Are you with me? It's not exist. Why it is not exist? Because it's simply it's not part of the word. So what happened? Bismillah, the first two letters are A-L, the word God. So they took them off. In the second name, they took off the A-L totally and they add Li. Li in Arabic means two. This is a different letter. So what is missing actually is two letters, not one. But now because the new letter they add is have the one of the old letter, which means Li, which is equal to. So Alhamdu Li Lah. Thanks to Li. Remember Li? You can add it in the front of any Arabic letter, especially a name, uh, like a description, like a, a, you know, uh, a person. Uh, Alhamdu Li, which means thanks to Lah. So the real name of the God of the Muslims is Lah. Now, I do not need to be a genius to tell you that you can go right now and search in Google for the word Lah, and you will find that it's one of the most ancient names of the moon God. One of the most ancient names, names, not a word mean God, names, for the word God. So, Alhamdulillah, Lah, the God of the word. Now the Muslim, they will try to explain to you, they say, oh, this is a grammar thing, you know, no, you, there's no grammar. First of all, by the way, when Islam exists, there was no grammar for Arabic. And I find it very funny that the one who created the grammar, the Arabic grammar, is not even an Arab. <laughs> this is how smart the Arab are. <laughs> and not only that, the one who added dots and those valves in the Arabic language, he himself is not an Arab too. I mean, this Arabic language is messed up. So this guy, he's a Persian, as uh, as they say. So he came, he said, what the heck with this language? You know, there's a lot of things missing. We can't even read. You know, there's a huge, a huge confusion without those dots. So they decide to add them later. And here you go, you come, you come with, with more confusion because how I will know now that the word as an example, Rahman means Rahman. If you read with me here, let me zoom in, in the word. You will find a little tiny thing here in the top of the word. Look at this. What is this? You see it? I will, I, will, I will make the same sign in the top of it so you can notice it with me. Do you see it? This little one here? Here, here. Let me see if I can point. I will make a line underneath of it so you know what I'm talking. But the letter is in the top, in the top of it. You see it? That little thing. But this is Aleph. This is Aleph. So in written language, we should write it down and the Rahman is not written this way. 
It should be written Ar Rahman with A. Do you remember the miracle of number 19? Who remember? The Muslim, they made the big news about it, blah, 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 and then we destroy it. And they, even the one who came with it, he claimed to be a messenger of Allah, Ahmad Didat, he put it in his book, Zakir Naik, he mentioned it many times. Uh, every, every, every single Muhammadan, he spoke about it, how amazing it is. And then in two letters, in two, in, in two seconds, we can destroy it, because here we go. There's many letters they did not count. As an example, there's a letter here. They did not count. There is letter here. Do you see the Shadda? Shadda here mean there's a guy, his name is Nu'man Khan. He speak about the miraculous Quran. Miraculous Quran. And he speak about the Shadda, how they are double letters. They are double letters. So each time you see this sign here, you are seeing a double letter. Let me see if I can make it uh, in different shape. Here we go. When you see this thing here, change the color when you see this thing here this is double letter look how many double letter we have and we have it here again you see it and we have the double letter here again so where is the 19 we just added three letters immediately Plus one in Ar-Rahman, plus one in Basim, etc. So that number 19 became what? 20, 21, 23, 24, 25. <laughs> anyway, a Muslim is calling me. No, my friend, not even a single person is texting me. Maybe he's calling the old account of Arabian Prophet. Maybe the admin can post my account. So they can find the correct one. I I don't use the old account because it is so full. I have tens of thousands of names in it, and it make me sick. Uh, anyway, going back to our topic. Oh, hold on. I forgot my coffee. I made a coffee, and I forget about it. Get me. Let me get to the kitchen. So, so just a second. All right, we're back. So here we notice that the name of Allah is different. The name of Allah is different. Let us see, we have somebody, maybe he's a Muslim. Uh, you are calling him? Hello? Yeah, mostly this is Fakira. Fakira. Yeah. The guy who don't speak Arabic, he said the effort to Allah. He translated the Quran without knowing the, the language, and he is the genius. And he is the one who agreed that he's a prophet of Allah, disobey Allah. And he said this guy is genius. He said this Fakira said the prophet disobey Allah as a messenger, not as a prophet. So Muhammad now is too personal. <laughs> Muhammad the messenger and Muhammad the prophet. Muhammad the prophet don't commit sin. Muhammad the messenger he commits sin. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid argument? Mental. Mental. Hmm. You can call me. No, you cannot call me. I want Muslims to call me. Don't send me messages says I can call you. Only if you are a Muslim. You see, guys, the, the, the mentality of the Muhammadan not only is awkward, not only it's a drugs mentality, it's a stupid and they have shifranesia. Uh, how Muhammad as a messenger he sinned, but Muhammad as a prophet he don't. But isn't this the same person? So we don't want to waste our time with someone filthy, his tongue is filthy, his mouth is filthy, the effort come in his mouth every two seconds, even he said the effort to his prophet. And then he claimed in his stupidity that Muhammad as a messenger he, do, he would do sin, he does sin. But Muhammad, as a prophet, he don't. As now we have, we have two Muhammad. Muhammad Santa Claus and Muhammad the prophet. 
<laughs> so as you see, the Muslims, the Muhammadan, they have a disability to tell us what Allah means. They don't know what Allah means. And Allah never mentioned in the Old Testament, neither in the New Testament. And we have a proof. We can prove it so easy, not only by going to the book, but by using their own reference. Do we have any Muhammadan is willing to give us a call and take that challenge to tell us why? You know, remember the Muslims, they say, that Abraham was a Muslim. Hmm? Any Muhammadan? They say Abraham was a Muslim. Okay, what the name Abraham he used when he was a Muslim to worship Muhammadan? They say to us that Jacob was a Muslim. All right. I'm not going to go in details because if Abraham was a Muslim, then he should promote Islam, which is to lie, to cheat, to, you know, to be child molester, to be like Andrew Tate. But I'm not going to go into details. How come? And where we can find that those people worship somebody, his name is Allah. Uh, okay, we have, uh, you know, we have, we have somebody, are you a Muslim, Mr. Abbas? Why you don't call me Abbas? Okay, call me, call me, kiddo, you know. Hey, 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 uh, Mr. Abbas, you know. And by the way, Mr. Abbas, do you even know what your name means? You don't know. Mr. Abbas, he said, uh, you said ill, mean God, not Allah. Okay, genius, tell me what does ilah or ilo mean in Old Testament, for example, example, Ezra 7.23. Uh, you know, when a Muslim, he squeezes himself harshly. I'm afraid that no mayonnaise still is coming. What about you call me right now? And as long as you mention to me Ezra, you know, I challenge you to call me and tell me who is Ezra and what he said and what he worship. Go ahead, I'm waiting. Can you call me? Would you please call me? Let us see, we have somebody texting. Okay, I'm a Muslim. Mostly this is Fakira. You know, Fakira, she is a bug. She thinks she is a cute. Let us see if it's Fakira or not. <clears throat> Hello? 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 I'm fine. You are a Muslim. Well, yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if you remember me. I'm the Palestinian. I had the dream of Jesus. Okay. So yeah, I've been meaning to call you because I'm like, technically, I'm not. I I don't know. I, I can't access the chat, but I'm still watching your live every day. Okay. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to call and say thank you. Well, technically, I'm like in between you could say hmm. what uh, um, between mean why you don't make decision well no i i want to say that uh one second here yeah so I, I don't know i i wanted to call because first of all i'm blocked so i watch your channel every day but i can't even talk in the chair i don't know maybe i said something wrong and yeah, I'm maybe trying. I maybe I blocked you because sometimes if people they become annoying, they keep repeating something. Uh, like if you spam the text, you might get blocked. No, no, it wasn't that. I think when I was still trying to be Abdul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but usually we don't like Abdul unless they are doing something not annoying, like keep repeating the same thing. You know, I, I want to say uh, yeah. like your your content really opened my eyes to a lot of stuff. But now my family, I don't know, brother. I I told the uh, Lisa because I'm in the thing with her in the Discord. Yeah, that I would like to convert on live if I decide to do so. I would like to do it on live, hmm. but um. It's weird, you know, I just wanted to say, and I could keep this nice and short, Islam, like, when you learn, it's kind of like a Band-Aid ripping off, but I feel like the Band-Aid, you know, the, whatever you call the virus of Muhammad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's, I think, I feel that I take a long time more than others, but I definitely know that something's very wrong with Islam, and I brought it up to my family, and I the type of person I am, I just keep studying and studying, studying, and it's very draining. So I took a couple months off. Now I'm back to watching your content. I'm watching it all the time. But um, do you think that just the Bible is the best way to give someone that last push? Because I, I, I mean, okay, I, I feel like I want to say that I have like a Jehovah's Witness kind of understanding, mm -hmm. and I know you're not a fan of that. Um, I just feel that Jesus is separate from. I'm just really struggling with the Trinity, I guess I could say. And then, but you said in the Old Testament that God came to Abraham as a man. So, and then I looked it up and I'm like, so I know that God can do all things, I guess that I'm You know, in a very like, easy way, if you ask anyone, you will see that the word Elohim is not a singular name. Elohim is a word meaning gods. But all of us, we knew, the right. Jews, they believe in one God. Correct? Mm. So... How, yes. how they believe in one God, yet they say gods, you know? It, well, does, it doesn't... And I wanted to say... You know, it doesn't like, you know, when we say gods, that's mean the appearance of the language, there's gods, not one God. So Elohim, from the beginning, speak of right. the multi-person God, which is God. So God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father. And, you know, if you are trying to say... I have understanding of uh, Jehovah Witnesses. Well, Jehovah Witnesses, they don't have our Bible. They add things is not there. And they have a false translation. As an example, if you go to the book of John, very this is a very simple example from the beginning. They say a God. So the word was a God. And a God in English, you know what does that mean? I mean, there's many gods, right? But this right. is not what the, what, the, what the Bible says in the original manuscript. It says, the, and the word was God, not a God. So... Uh, and if they say there's a God, that's mean oh, even the God is not unknown, is not is unknown. <laughs> you know, if I say a tree, right. that's mean I do not even know the tree. So this is will bring more stupid things. So there's many cults like Muhammad cult. They add things to other belief, like Muhammad, he copies some from the Christian, some from the Jews, some from the Arab. So Allah is the God of the Arab. Messiah is the is the God of the Christians. Uh, but Muhammad he failed even to take the God of the Jews who is the God of the Jews until now and this is our topic today until now we cannot find the God of the Jews in the Quran like why the Quran never mentioned the word Elohim Adonai right and, right. and why know? did Muhammad never say he's the comforter and why did like no no why he did not mention certain words I mean it's, what's what the problem what is what is short of Yeah, it's very strange. Um, well, and then, you know, even my cousins asked uh, something about the Nicene Creed. I'm like, that has nothing. I don't know. It, I want to point something out. The Nicene, out. my friend, that, that conference is just to confirm that Jesus was exist from the beginning. It's not about if Jesus was God or not. A group of a Christian, right. a group of a Christian says, this is the argument, Jesus was born in a certain time the other christian they say no he is from the beginning and this is what it proved in the as an example john uh, uh, chapter number one so that was not about if they accept jesus to be god or not so when the muslim the big mouth they say oh you know what uh this is uh this is uh you know uh, uh you know this is where the christianity started but this is not no the christian already they are debating not about jesus if he's god or not if he is, was from the beginning with the father or there is a certain point where where he was born of the father that's all 
So both Christian, uh, let us say, parties, uh, the heretic one and the one who is, we are the Christian today, uh, they agree that Jesus is divine and he is God. So Muslims, they lie again when they fabricate such a news and they say such a, a, a thing. Let me ask you before uh, uh, I finish my call with you. Do you know what Allah mean? Well, people say it's a name and then they say it's just a name for the singular God. Like what the word like mean? The Jews, okay, if it's a name, what is it, it have to have a uh, meaning. The actual... What what, I, I, what your parents they said to you as a Muslim, your parents did you they, ever ask them what Allah mean or Sheikh? My mom was my father passed young and then my mom was kind of very Americanized liberal not liberal but you know she right. just not a huge religious okay person. I want you to do me a favor I, what about you find a Sheikh you can text me they again. told me it's a unique name by the way sorry to cut you off they so they always told us that we don't know what it means it's a unique name and. Then they show you in uh, Google, there's a Allah is written in the clouds and Allahu Akbar. And <laughs> yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, if you can't find me a sheikh, a sheikh should call, to call me, uh, you can I, just call anyone of your choice and ask him to join us. I Just text me and I will take your call and then we shake because we want somebody professional. He can give us a better answer than yours. Maybe. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I'll call Sabiel. It's funny because I live 30 minutes. I would love to actually. Why don't you call him right now? Life. I'm too busy calling the other sheikhs, but I wanted to leave you one last point. Maybe, and I, you know, it is nice talking to you again, and uh, I, I think I will accept the Lord uh, on live um, soon enough. But I think, do you think it's a thing was being like, okay, I, I just want to point that that the, the, the they say that all oh, the Jews and they just don't believe in a Arab prophet. So do you think that it's harder for Arabs to leave Islam because they have? Oh, this is our Arab prophet, but it's like. What What do you, do you mean by very... What do you mean by who is the one don't believe in Arab prophet? Like, uh, okay, like like they, it was said that, okay, you know the Jews like Muhammad's message, but they didn't like the man, and the the Arab uh, pagans, they liked the man, but they didn't like the message. Hmm. Right. Well, so... my friend. First of all, so so they, they they just blame the Jews and the Christians not accepting Arabi prophet that they're all just racist okay. that don't want to believe in the Arabi guy, yeah. which makes no sense because okay. if you guys say that Ismail is the father of the Arab, well they believe in Ismail. Well, first of all, uh, Ismail he cannot be the father of the Arab because the books, uh, previous books, long before Islam, say clearly that uh, Ismail is the mother is is a son of a mother. She is an Egyptian, correct? And right, then, and right. then the Bible says that Ishmael he married from a Egyptian women. So now he have Egyptian from both sides, the mother and his wife, and his father was Aramic. So how the children they would be Arab. In the top of that, the Quran says that there is no messenger came to Mecca before Muhammad. But if I go in the Quran too, there is something very important. The Quran says uh, uh, that Allah he make from the seeds of Jacob you know from the seed of Abraham and he mentioned two names from the seed of Abraham we made the messengers he did not mention Ishmael as we see here in the beginning oh, okay. if you read with me here as an example chapter 6 verse number 84 it says and we bestowed upon who? About Abraham. Abraham. And then from those seeds which he will quote in the front of us, he said, We bestowed upon him Isaac, Isaac uh, 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 and, and Jacob. Each of them we guided before him. We guided Noah and Muhammad here. He go backward to, man, to Noah, which is very weird. And among his brogni, he's, he's going back to who now? To Jacob. You know, David mm. and Solomon, and Job and Yosef and Moses, right? And Aaron. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always it's, it's always stressing the line of Israel or Jacob. Exactly. And then he continues saying, and Zechariah and Yahya and John and Isa and Elias. And then he continue uh -huh. and he say Ishmael. I mean, we are now in the time of 
uh, Jesus, he go back to Ishmael. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Muhammad now, you know, Muhammad <laughs> now is trying to fix it. He for, he forgot somebody, but he should mention Ishmael from the top of the line. You don't say Ishmael in, with, with, in the same line with Jesus. You don't mention Ish Ishmael at the end. So now we are right, talking right. about, yeah, we are talking now about Ishmael, but we just, we pass Isa, we pass uh, 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 John, we pass uh, 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 Elias, we we, we pass uh, we pass Jacob himself, and now you are remembering Ishmael going back to Abraham. So this is here you see that Muhammad is adding things. He right the Muslims agree that Muhammad he don't put Quran like a chapter alone like together. He say a sentence, they write it down, and then he say a sentence two years after, they put it next to that. They, they try to find a place for it. this one what the Muslim they say the compiled Quran the Quran is not a book so they put it together right. so now this is a story here is speaking about this so Muhammad he said that in one occasion and maybe after two years or three years Muhammad he mentioned this verse so they put it here and maybe after five years he mentioned this one so we put it here so the Quran did not come this way even the Muslim themselves if you go to the, the website it's called the uh, according to revelation you will see that this verse and this verse and this verse is not mentioned in that city. Muhammad used to live in the in the city of Medina, which means ten years ago. So why it's here now? So, uh, uh, so the Quran is a very confusing book, but we have a very clear evidence from the Quran that the uh, the childhood, uh, or sorry, the the, pri the, the prophethood uh, of Abraham uh, they are going to be from his children and they are going to be specifically from the Jews specifically from Jacob you know right so it's 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 almost like okay I try to put my head there okay I'm not <clears throat> it's not about being Arabian but it's like it's the Indonesians are like the Indonesian every other tribe in the world knows okay if they believe in Christianity that all the prophets were Hebrew we're Jewish okay so I think that it's just like a very I guess what I was trying to say it's a very obsession with the the, uh, the uh, being Arabian and that kind of thing that they just not that they don't want to no, like my friend, the, the Arab themselves no, I, ever... I don't believe in the racial thing Muhammad in the beginning right. he did not even convince the Arab and there is tons of verses of the Quran showing you how the Arab refused Muhammad so it did, nobody refused him because he's an Arab you know because there oh, is no way the Arab, because there is no way the Arab will refuse an Arab because he's an Arab. That would be silly, right? It's right, like right, right. it's like saying to me, uh, uh, the Somalian refused you because you are Somalian, but he is a Somalian like them, so it doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, but if you go with me in the Quran as an example, just to show you an example, in chapter twenty nine, verse number twenty seven. Nine twenty seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, here the verse by the way is the most stupid verse ever because if you read the verse but but without the bracket which means it's not in the quran everything you see in the bracket is not in the quran you know it's how it says actually it's how in arab in, in arabic but they are adding it now in english between uh, two bracket but uh, notice with me here and we bestowed on him here there's two big bracket and small bracket who why because abraham did not mention Abraham is not mentioned and we bestowed upon him and then we skip there's no Arabic more and then I is Haq and Yaqub okay now uh. because now we know who is is Haq and Yaqub we know we, he's talking about Abraham but the verse because the one who made it is stupid because shouldn't you say suddenly where where is Abraham why you jump to Abraham where, where is Abraham here we go read the verse before 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 there's no Abraham and then suddenly this guy, he, he's speaking about the children of Abraham, but there's no Abraham in the chapter. This is what we are saying. The wow. Quran is, is compiled. It's like, it's very you know, nice. like if somebody he chopped many chickens, you know, different chickens. And now he is trying to find the leg of this chicken with the other leg of that chicken, you know. The chicken with four arms. Yeah, yeah the four. Actually, Muhammad, by the way, he, he once he was eating, he asked for the shoulder of the goat. And then he gave him the shoulder. The Muslim, they say he finished the whole shoulder. Can you believe it? And then he asked for the second shoulder because he liked the shoulder. 
the guy he gave him the second shoulder then he asked for the third shoulder the better way man he said prophet how many shoulders the goat has <laughs> but here you notice yeah how Muhammad here is messed up he said clearly that we made the prophethood you know we made the prophethood from the children of Jacob and Isaac look what Muslim did the Muslim this is only the answer in Muhammad they, 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 they put Muhammad there look 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 where is Muhammad you know what, what, what Muhammad you know it says well kitab there's no there's no Quran if you change the translator remember this is chapter 29 verse number 27 let us oh, go yeah. to different idiot It says here, look, look how much text disappear. I mean, this is uh, the this is after <laughs> taking all the, most of the bracket, and we gave and there's no Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and ordained among their progeny the prophethood and revelation. This is the stupid Quran. <sighs> Allah, He made yeah. what? He made from the childrens of. Jacob and Isaac the prophethood so where is Ishmael I don't know but if I turn Christian do I have to change my name from Abdul to something else you, my friend no I mean uh, you can change your name it's up to you but uh, you see you know we will be judged by our fruit not by our names the Lord said you know right so you do no, not I, need I, I, you really changed my life well go ahead i'm sorry no actually if your name is muhammad uh, that will be lovely because that will be a big uh, you know big problem for the muslims his name is muhammad yet he worshiped jesus so keep it muhammad <laughs> oh i like that <laughs> yeah all right oh yeah well, I, and I guess I'll leave you. I don't know if you have more callers, and this is like my third time call. We spent at least seven hours on the phone, and I, I found my old ones and I downloaded it. I because I like the way other people upload your content because you tell them to and make sure that they say it's not you. Anyway, I think just the the Palestinians. You know, like you said that the, they weren't speaking Arabic there. Okay, whatever. But there's some Jews that even believe that uh, this is kind of a reach, but that Palestinians. Okay, they've proven that Palestinians have more Jewish ancestry and less Arab ancestry than other Arabs. And I think the term Arab, just in general, is a very... My friend, Palestinian has nothing to do with the Arab. Palestinians has nothing to do with the Arab. And they have nothing to do with the Jews too. Now, they mix together. That can be maybe a, like a reason to say, oh, there's some of them, they have some like... Uh, because pe yeah, people mix. tell me I look Jewish. I'm like, no, I'm Palestinian. But I mean, yeah, yeah. pretty close. Well, I don't know. You know, uh, I, I once I debated an atheist. He he proved from my look that Darwin was right. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, my friend, I, I I will continue my topic and we'll see if we can get more Muslims. Thank you for calling. Let me know if you can get some Muslims to call me too. All right. No, I got you. Yeah, we'll right. catch up soon. Thank Take you, care. brother. Take care. Now, a Muslim he is posting in the chat. Oh, hold on. We have a Muslim calling, trying to call maybe. Uh. We will see if he is a serious Muslim. One of the Muhammadan, he said, Christian Prince, you refuse to read 20, 24, 16. <laughs> you refuse to read 24, 16. <laughs> How I did that? <laughs> okay, what about you call me and I will read 24, 16, 17, 18. Hello? Hello. Uh, I'm fine. Are you a Muslim? Yes. Uh, this is Fakira. Are you a Muslim? Yes. All right. Tell me what do you want to say. You talk about history, Abraham. Okay. Sixteen. What? If you go to word sixteen. Story 16, Fakira. This is Fakira. Chapter, uh, uh, read chapter 2416. So Fakira is asking me to read 2416. 
Let us go to 2416. And now the Muslim, he will regret and he will say, I don't mean that. Yeah, you ask for it. Here we go. The story start here, brother. 2416. Anyone have any idea what that mean? The story started here. 2416. This is about Aisha, my friend. Being accused of sleeping around. So you want to talk about Abraham and you the smart Fakira. You are asking me the chapter 24, verse number 16, and the story starts there. Why? We are talking about the legs of Aisha now. This is about Aisha being accused of sleeping around. As we see, for witnesses. Now for sure the Muslim, they will say, oh, this is not uh, about Aisha. Here we go. Read it. Against Aisha. Chapter 24, 16. Okay, do you dare to read it for me? Why oh, you are skipping that, huh? Yato, yato. Yato, yato. How are you? Everybody looking for you. Ah, 29, 16. But you said to me, 24, 16. Or oh, you are confused. Ah, you are confused. Yeah, okay, guys. You are uh, So he mentioned 2024, 20, but he wanted 26, brother. <laughs> 16. Okay, let's go to 16. Uh, uh, hmm. And we went to 16. So, what, uh, what do you want to say to us, Fakira? Who is a Muslim who have little brain? He can call us and, and say something makes sense. Anyone? We are asking you, how come the Quran and the Bible, they don't match? One of you, he said to me, will we find the word Allah in the Bible? That is false. Il, il is a word meaning God. The sound, the H, is a sound of a musical. It's not even part of the word. Ilah, ilah. This is the Aramaic. But the Quran speak about a name, which is lah. Not il, not il. Il is the word appear before the name Allah as al. As we said, the word al is the original word of il. By time, the ancient Israeli, they used to use the word al for God simply because, you know, Aramaic is the major source of languages in the Middle East and Abraham himself is an Aramaic. So, Abraham, he came with his language. He did not dump it behind him. And he say, okay, let's forget about the Aramaic people. No, he's, an Ara he's one of them. So he came with his language. And this is why it's very normal to use words used before. Il does not mean God, the Almighty, which is, can be, I mean, as it's a word meaning God. If somebody worship Satan, he can call him Il if he want. Yeah, it's a word meaning God. It depends who's your God. If somebody worship an idol, he can call him Il too. But here in the in the Bible, in the Bible, Il is not about the pagan God, it's about the God of the Jews. So we can say the origin of the language as a word can be having many branches of other like other roots, where it's coming from other languages. Some of them they are even dead languages. For dead ethnics, they are gone, they are not or mixed with other uh, ethnic and they are gone. But the word il is not a word as a name. It's just a word meaning God. Same as in English today, you use the word God. But the embarrassing is that the Quran make it clear that from the children of Abraham, and he named specifically Isaac and Jacob, will be 
the prophethood. Read carefully. He did not say, and some others. He said, and from his progeny, we made the prophethood in Arabic. It says, when Nubuwa, which means all the prophethood. Are we listening? All prophethood is coming from Jacob and from Isaac. This is the Quran. And the Arabic is so clear. You see here it says, from his progeny, prophethood. In Arabic it doesn't say that. It says, the prophethood. If you change the translator, just to show you how Muslims they lie. Remember, this is again verse number 27. Actually, you can copy this. Copy this word. This is the word an which means the prophethood, not prophethood. There's a huge difference. The prophethood, that means all the prophethood is coming from Isaac and Jacob. Specifically. Not prophethood. Prophethood, okay, from them prophethood come. But when we say the, that's mean all the prophethood are coming from Isaac and Jacob. Let us change the translation so we see how the Muslim work it out. Maybe we can find some one Muslim he have little decency to come with the you know more close translation to the Quran. Mm. Look at this guy. We appointed prophecies and books to be among his seed. Translation is not accurate, but this is a big bump for the Muslim too. Because what? We appointed prophecy and the book to be among his seed. Who is his seed? The verse mentioning two names. All right, we have a Muslim. Let us see. If you are a Muslim, you like to join us for free, you can text me in Skype and I will call you. Let us see this guy. <clears throat> Hello? Yeah, I hear you. Go ahead. You're a Muslim? Yeah, I think this is the first time you have a real Muslim on your... Um, you are the first real channel. Muslim ever I spoke to? I've seen the right one. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On your channel. At least I've been two times onto your channel. Last time I lost it... Oh, the comments, the ignorant comments about the Muslims and stuff. Um, so I don't understand what you are saying. Are you you are saying so are you saying you are the first Muslim said, ever come to my I, channel? I think I I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How come you are the first Muslim oh, yeah. came to my channel? As I believe, basically. Huh? Well, the Muslims. Um, I've never seen you having a real Muslim on your account. First of all. Um, okay, what a real Muslim mean? Go ahead. What a real Muslim mean? Um, into your channel. What a, what a real Muslim mean? Huh? What a real Muslim? You said you are a real Muslim. What a real Muslim mean? What does Islam? What is Islam? Tell me. Okay, go ahead. I'm listening. I'm a Muslim. Okay, but you said a real okay. Muslim. You a said Muslim the word real Muslim. Someone. What a real Muslim? I said real Muslim because the type of Christian Arabs, um, according to their actions so far, which I'm not sure about Christian Arabs and um, Hindus who really make a good amount of money um, acting like Muslims. That's what they're really good at, by the way. Uh, um, that you have on your Christian prince or whatever you call it. Okay. Uh, yeah, um, that shows me that they are zero. They don't even know about this. You never ask them to read Quran. Could you do that? Could you ask them? Um, can you read the surah? The surah. Can you, uh, okay. Can you read Quran you? yourself? Can you read Quran? Really, really can you read Quran? Really Quran? That. Okay. I would. I would. I would take. My, I would take your advice. Can you read uh, Quran for us? Yeah, actually. Okay, read for me verse number 27 here in front of us on the screen. Yes. I, I, I don't, uh, I don't uh, 
memorize it like that first and uh, chapters i'm not asking you to memorize you said you can read you said you said you said i'm not checking if somebody hold on hold on you said if somebody he says a muslim i'm not asking him to be sure he's a muslim if he can read or not okay here we go this is the verse in the front of your read for us no no wait 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 i'm losing you what the first listen my friend your connection is bad okay if i memorize it i'm not asking you to memorize it i'm asking you to read it can you read for us okay which surah are you asking me to read okay mr jaguar this is chapter 29 verse number 27 Okay, chapter 29, first, uh, 27. Okay, mm -hmm. let me Google it. Give me a minute. Okay. I was telling you, tell me the surah instead of me Googling it. So give me a minute. 29, verse 27. Okay, all I'm saying is not everyone is like Dr. Sacrum, Okay, 20. Okay, okay. I don't understand. 29. Your, voice is, your voice is cutting. Chapter 29, the chapter of the spider, because okay, the Quran is like a, a zoo. Chapter 20. Yeah. Okay, chapter 29. Mm -hmm. Verse 27. First, first, uh, okay, chapter. First 27, right? My friend, how many times I need to repeat? Chapter 29, okay. verse 27. Okay, first 27, right? What the heck? Okay. Chapter 29, verse 27. What the heck? Wow. Coming from uh, a Christian priest, so called priest, saying what the heck and insulting all the time. I'm, not a, I'm not a priest. Beautiful secondly, sister, right? secondly so, I'm saying what the heck? What's wrong with the what the heck? Your prophet, he, your prophet, he insult everybody. I did not insult okay. you. I said, what the heck? Okay. So, because I, I, repeat, I keep repeating okay. myself, okay. chapter 29, uh, verse 27, me, chapter 29, verse 27, chapter 29, verse 27. And you keep asking me, what chapter? Wait up, what wait verse? Up, wait up. What chapter? Stop, stop making so, you are very nervous. Relax, relax. It's okay. You know, Allah is in your side. You will win. Read it for us. No. Yeah, yo, listen to me, man. Listen to me, man. Um, all I'm saying is, if you are discussing religion, don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. You said I'm not checking if a Muslim is real or not. Religion. Listen, listen. You did Someone lie. Else? You did lie. You did lie. Man, I want you to read for me chapter you, you, you twenty-nine. For like hours, chapter twenty-nine. Hours, man, so don't change the topic. Chapter okay, twenty-nine, verse twenty-seven. Read it. <laughs> I'm reading the Quran. Stop, stop. Read it. Listen. Read it. The Holy Quran is not what you sing with. So you have read to read it. Up and read read it. Read, read, read it. You did lie, don't so, you? And we gave, so you and did lie. Gave, and now you are trying okay, to keep okay. talking gave, because you don't know how to read Arabic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He's, reading, okay. he's reading a transcript. Okay, transcript, which, is, which making um, the sound. Okay. So now tell me what it's, what that mean. Yeah. What that mean? Yeah. What you just read? We, what I'm you did read for me? Him, what does that mean? And we gave to him. Yeah. I said him who? Is, am I am I speaking in Chinese right now? I'm reading in English right now. So I am asking you. You said we gave to him. Him who? And we gave to him. Him who? I. And Jacob, okay. Abraham, mm -hmm. right? Okay. Okay. Isaac, Ishaq, by the way, his first born child, I believe, right? Mm -hmm. What we gave, what we gave his, uh, okay, what we gave Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and what we made, and Yahoo, uh huh. And place in his descendants, descendants, and descendants, prophets mm -hmm. and scripture. Mm -hmm. And we gave him mm -hmm. his word in this world, and indeed he is in the hereafter amongst the All right. righteous. All right. So who is the two okay. names? Who is the two names? So, so Allah he mentioned in this verse from their seeds. From the seed of Abraham, then the prophethood will be. It's Jacob and Isaac, correct? Uh, 
Okay. I'm waiting. Are you there? Well, he did not hang up, but he's not talking. Hello? I'm asking you, who is the the prophet hoods? The prophet hoods from from who? I did not understand the word. My friend, your voice is getting badly. Your voice is getting badly. Yes, if you yes, have additional okay. program, no, I was thinking my internet connection. I was using it. Okay, do this. Do this. Do this. So Close all other application. Yeah. You have them open, so you can have a better connection. Okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. I'm okay. Let me see. Okay. Um, I'm using both data and Wi-Fi, so I want to cut the Wi-Fi because it's getting weaker sometimes. Hmm. So I want to use my data. Can you? You can give me a second. All right. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> okay okay so why here the verse mentioned, yeah, would you like to... why the verse here mentioned yeah. uh, as we know my friend as we know Ishmael is the oldest yeah. son of Abraham correct yeah okay shouldn't Allah mention in this verse and we give Abraham Ishmael First, before he mentioned any of Isaac and Jacob, isn't he the elder? Okay, nice. That's a good question. Um, okay. okay, so this question that you ask me right now is like this is the only verse in the Quran that talks about the arrangements of the lineages of prophets. This is the okay. only verse. It be like that. This is the first verse. Yeah. No. You are asking me why Allah did not, yeah, no. did not place no. uh, no. uh, smile no. between. See, uh, you claim to be a Muslim. You claim to be a Muslim. You claim to be a Muslim. Is in chapter no. 14. No, no, no. I just want to Google right now all the verses regarding um, this topic right now. Yeah. And just to show you that there are other verses where there's Ishaq, there's Ismail, and there's Yaqub. This okay. is not the question. This is not the question. The question I know, chapter yeah. 14, okay. chapter 19, yeah. chapter 38. My friend, you are talking to Christian Prince. You do not know what you are saying. I'm asking you. When Allah, he said that we gave him to 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 Abraham, we gave him yeah. a, a children who they are Isaac and Jacob. Yeah. And then he mentioned that from the okay. seed of those people will be the prophethood. Yes. What is Ishmael? Ah, uh, okay. So Ishaq obviously is mentioned in the um, uh, two, but he's saying why didn't he include Ishaq into this list? No, Ishaq is there. Ishaq is there. You do not know how to read? Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, Ismail, Ismail, Ismail. Ismail, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Why Ismail is not there? Yeah. Because this verse, so, is a very, this verse is very important. It says that the prophethood in Arabic, and you claim you speak Arabic, it says al nubuwa not prophethood, yeah, al which means the, the prophethood, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the prophethood, okay. they are coming from Abraham and Jacob and Isaac. What is Ishmael? Okay. Um, that's an irrelevant question. And let me tell you why. Because this is talking about Ishaq and Yaqub. Okay. Both of them relate with each other in terms of... Um, Let's, uh, seeds that you just mentioned the word so they are a sulala basically right they, they are a progeny of each other like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and we made right um, our, um and we made his progeny and we gave them basically or made them um prophets and we gave them a scripture so the prophets and the scripture mm. that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the durriya or the seeds of Ishaq and Yaqub. Okay, are you with me? I'm just listening, so those, enjoying. I'm, I'm just are, enjoying that the philosophy, my well friend. No, no. The question is very simple. Well the, why you why are you all going in a cycle? Well, hold on, no, no. my friend. Where is Ishmael? It's here mentioned. This is the only place it's mentioned that from no, those no, from no, those is this, the prophethood. Where is Ishmael? Nice, nice. It's a good. 
man, I don't know why you have to ask me this question, but I'm I, I'm going to ask you in that case. So give me a minute. Should just I apologize for asking this question? First, the first mm. part, and mm. just to show you the arrangement for mm. your answer. Okay. Of the, yeah. Mm. So it's hard. Kulu okay? What happened? Did Allah forget about Ishmael to mention that his from his seed too, we will have the the, the prophethood? Yeah. Okay. I'm googling right now. All right. You are googling right now. Okay, that's no. wonderful. Yeah, you know, Quran is not like uh, something you just ask and someone have to automatically, especially mm. if he's not a a good student who really studied in Jamaat al Medina or Asr uh, or a cleric. So. I'm a Muslim, I'm a good Muslim. So in order for me to answer your well, or I don't know the way you arrange these questions, I have to take time. I can't just answer right no now. Problem, no problem, take question. your time, yeah. my friend. Okay, go ahead. Thanks. Okay. But don't make you wait long you know i mean this is not a tv people they if there is no sound people will think we are gone me and you ah, his voice is, is gone i did not hear you what you were saying your your internet was lost hello yeah okay what you were saying can you repeat again because i did not hear anything i have some internet condition problems yeah <laughs> <clears throat> yes okay okay what is the answer go ahead <clears throat> so now i just went into every single verse mm. where ismail is mentioned in the quran mm. okay mm. so let me see i i, I told you with ismail mentioned in the quran why you are repeating Masha yourself Allah. again i'm asking you the question here it says he mentioned mm. The seed from the seed, from the seed of Abraham, the prophethood will be. But he he mentioned now. So the first, the first born son of um, Ibrahim alayhi hmm. salam. You yeah, you with me? No, I'm not with you. I'm here. You are there. Why the question is so hard? If he is talking about the prophethood from the seed of Abraham. Did he lose him? No, ah, he hang up. Let us see. I'm a Muslim. Somebody is a Muslim on a call me. Let us see the different one. Maybe he's smarter. All right. <clears throat> we are calling another person. Ismailia. I think this guy is an Egyptian, but his uh, connection is not good. Let us do it again. Ismailia, don't try to call me. Let me call you. Maybe we can get connection with you. Call is not going through. Okay. Let us try one more time. Would look like all the Abdul they are calling me. They are using the neighbor's internet. All right, like like now it's going through. <clears throat> uh, the call decline. Call me. I'm a Muslim, and finally when the call go through, he declined the call. <laughs> Why you decline the call? Let us call Jaguar again. Let us see. As you see, Islam is a very silly cult. You know, they don't even know what they are talking about. Hello? 
Yeah, okay. So now do you know the answer why here? This is the verse yeah, speaking yeah, about yeah, yeah. he, he speaks about the prophethood, the prophethood mentioning two names. So now we understand from the seed of Abraham the prophethood will be, but now he make it clear okay. it is two so names. I, I, got you, only. Man. I have your answer, man. I have your answer. So Go right ahead. now I can only think about the next pitches that you have. All right. Go ahead. I really I really got you, man. Okay, good, good. Okay. Okay. So the first born of the first born of uh, Abraham no, Ibrahim alayhi salam uh -huh. or Abraham like you call him, mm -hmm. who was he by the way? And she said, as I said, um, someone, and she said the same one, which was Yaqub, but he, it's not like that. It's I did not Ismail, say that. I said Ishmael. I said, shouldn't he mention first oh, okay, Ishmael? Okay, okay. So let me just give you um, more than one first, one first where there's Abraham. And Ismail and Ishaq and Yaqub. Would you like that? Okay, give me. Go ahead. Nice. Okay. So you can go to um, chapter 2, 140. Chapter 2, verse sorry. 140. No, so, so, uh, yeah. Let me see the. Yes, I think. Yeah. All right. Read it for me. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. I'm Tahuluna in Ibrahim, Ismail, Ishaq, and Yaqub. And but this is, you know, and, uh, it's shortened. Mm -hmm. So now I went to every single verse in the Quran where there's an arrangement uh, for the progeny of Ibrahim, mm -hmm. starting from uh, Ibrahim, um, Ismail, Ishaq, and Yaqub. So that's number one verse that you have. Can you read it in English? No, no, what does this have to do with my question? The arrangement, are you just No, 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 about, not the arrangement. You see, I'm no, talking I'm about, hold on, hold on. My friend, listen carefully. Listen carefully. Listen carefully to yeah. the question. Let me repeat the question. Yeah. The verse I gave okay. you is speak about that from the seed of Abraham, the prophethood will be, and he mentioned two names only, Jacob. Yes. Hold on, Jacob and Isaac. Can you find me yeah. a verse in the Quran saying that from yeah. the seed of Ishmael, the prophethood will be? Because now he mentioned. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Okay, nice, nice. So, but, but before we go, before we go, where... before we go, hold on, before you go. The verse you mentioned to me, chapter 2, verse number 41, you have to agree with me that the one who made this verse is a stupid because how you say to the Jews, are you saying to me that Abraham was a Jew? How Abraham, do you know what even what Jew, do your prophet even know what Jews mean? The verse you gave me, it says, are you saying that Abraham and Ishmael and Isaac and Jacob and the 12 tribes, they used to be Jews? <laughs> so let me make the question you are the one who put the glue on this verse now how in the world anyone can say he hang up <laughs> yeah he's calling again do you hear me yeah, yeah, yeah. how so, the quran claim that the jews nice, hold on so, how the quran claim that the jews claim I that abraham was a jew I understand it now. So you, are, yeah, I understand your question now. Okay. So before I thought you were talking about talking about um, the arrangement of the, you know the prophets or you know, the correct. I thought you were asking me that question in this, but now you are asking me why in this verse, if you are asking me, hmm. okay, hmm. did Allah not mention Ismail being given prophethood, right? No, no, the, 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 from, from his seed, from his seed. From, from his, seed, seed, yeah. his seed, because okay. because who here it mentioned that mentioned okay, mentioned the seed of Abraham. Listen carefully, oh, the seed of Abraham, okay. and he why mentioned two question, names. Well, he mentioned two question, names. Then? Yeah. Why is that even a question then? I mean, I have other verses where Ismail was given um, a scripture or my friend, inspiration. My friend. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Listen, you are not listening. No, the okay. verse is clear. Who That's is what I'm who, you. So why the prophethood? The prophethood of Abraham. There is a verse in the Quran says. That from the prophet Hood, the seed of Ishmael, the seed of Ishmael yeah. will be prophet. Yeah, yeah, oh, you are asking me if Ismail was given a scripture or prophethood, right? No, the 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 children, the children yeah. of Ishmael. The children uh -huh. of Ismail. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. So I have to again look for that. Okay, I will give you. Too. I will give you five minutes to look, so you can give me a better answer. Okay. And you text me well, when you are ready. Same are you a Hebrew Israelite, by the way? Because uh, no, I am a, no, I am a Christian. I mean, okay. Can I ask you one question? If you are a Christian, uh, we don't want to change topic. 
No, it's, it's, it's just a simple question. We just, okay. Jesus said, I was sent to the lost sheep of Israel. Uh -huh. So what makes you think that you are a Christian right now? Hmm. From but, the religion of yeah, but Jesus, um, but Jesus, he said, yeah. I have other sheep in other places what too. Right? My, friend, my, friend, right. my friend, my friend, hold on. Yeah. You Muslims, you you when you when you read, you call you take you take a, a verse and you make a book out mm -hmm. of it. The Bible is a book, not a verse. And this is what you Muslim do when they try to explain I know to what us. Bible is, but I just so ask you let me ask where... you. Let me ask you. Is it the, the yeah. answer for you? I will give from, you the answer from the Quran. From God, God, I will God, give you the answer God, from the Quran, Matthew, so you don't you don't go yeah. you don't get confused more than you're confused. No. What the no, name? What the name of the book of? What is the name? What is the name? What is the name of the book of Jesus in the Quran? Injil. Injil, but Injil is a Greek word. Yes. No, it's not. It Who is. said that? Maybe it, it was an Aramaic word. Okay, my friend. Jesus, Don't waste my Jesus, time. I would, no, just go. Go and do some search and come back to me with the Aramaic word so we can laugh at you. And that get you busted because if Jesus was sent only to the Jews, then how the stupid Quran says his book is in jail. That means Jesus was sent to the Greek, and most likely he was exist in Athena. <laughs> Let us see, Mister. I will give you five minutes. Text me back when the question when your answer is ready, so we can laugh. Let us see this Muslim. <clears throat> you are Korean, you one. In jail is a Hebrew word. <laughs> okay, we are losing connection from my side. Is it working? Yeah, it looked like it's fine. In jail is a is a Hebrew word. <laughs> we are trying to call this guy. It's not working. Let us see again. Um, here we go. <clears throat> we are calling Ismailia. His name is Ismailia Abdul Salam. Hello. Good evening, evening, my friend. Yeah. Huh? It's evening here in Nigeria. I don't know what's the time in your place. Or so anyway, good way. A uh, good day. Good day. What do you want to say to us? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Yes, I am. All right. What 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 what, what does that mean? Uh, I'm just listening to you, and there there are, there are two points that you make, which I find that they are lies. There's two points I made. They are lies. Go ahead. Yeah. Number one, you said that the Quran doesn't mention Ishmael as being descendant. I mean, having descendant that are no, no, Muslims. this is not what I said, I, my friend, my friend. You Muslims, you eat too much ajwa and you don't listen. I said, I said, can you show me? I did not say, I did not say it's not mentioned. I said, can you show me a verse in the Quran saying that from the children of Ishmael will be prophets? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Go to Surah two. All right. I, I want to this seven to thirty. Okay, here we go. We will go there, but this doesn't say anything about. Okay, my friend, my friend, read it for us. Bring it up in the screen. I'm using my phone right now. Let me see if if I can go to my chapter two, verse one twenty-seven. Right? Yeah, up to thirty. What? Up to thirty. Thirty. Three to thirty. Yeah. Okay, one twenty-seven up to thirty. Okay. Yeah. Read it for us. Go ahead. Read it for us. I'm using my phone. I I'm just going. Let me see if I can ask God. I can you see hear me? Chapter two, verse number twenty-seven. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There is nothing there about Ishmael. Read it. Read it. <laughs> I don't know how read to read. You read it for me. You are the one who mentioned it. You read it. Go ahead. Okay, I'm coming. Let me read it so that. Uh, you said you, you said that, a twenty-seven um, or one twenty-seven. Yeah, to to thirty exactly. What is that? Two thirty, you mean? Two thirty. Hello. Oh boy. I don't understand his accent. Is he saying two thirty or twenty-seven to thirty? Are you there? He said one twenty-seven. Okay. 
Well, I don't understand what he's saying. Let us go to 127, but we were there. Oh boy. You know the funny is <laughs> the Muslims the more they 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 quote for me a verse from the Quran the more they are digging for the grave of Muhammad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know his internet is bad. Do we have one Muslim? He have a good internet. Hello. Hello? Lord have mercy. Hello? Yes, my friend. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse 127 to 30. Two, uh -huh. Verse 127 to 30. Please read it. You read it for me. Go ahead. Oh, I, like I told you, my phone is not... I don't have... Okay. Uh, verse number 27, it says... Please, okay. I'll, 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 I'll read it. I'll read it. Okay. Remember the verse number 20, 127 in chapter 2, it says, And remember when Abraham and his son Ishmael, they were rising the foundation of the house, the Kaaba, between two brackets, saying, Our Lord accept this service from us. Verily, you are all here, hear, all knower. Verse number 128, Lord, make us Muslims and our offspring nation of Muslims. And show us our uh, manas. I mean, translation is really horrible. Adding words, Arabic words with English words. Let us find different translation. Have only English words. Let us see. Yosef Ali. Okay. Yosef Ali. Let's go back. One twenty-seven. One twenty-eight. Here we go. All right. Our Lord make us Muslims, bowing to Thee will of the our progeny amid and 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 of our progeny people a people muslim bowing to the between two bracket will and show us our place in the celebration doing of rights and turn into us mercy more stupid translation thou art of return returning most merciful our lord send amongst them a messenger their a messenger. own huh? <laughs> a messenger among them a messenger among the descendants okay. of ishmael and abraham so there you have it confirmed that abraham prayed that among his own descendants and ishmael okay there should be a prophet so according to ibn kasir who is that prophet okay hold on hold on so allah he said so abraham he said he's praying to allah correct of course yeah okay and he pray that if from his Progni will be a messenger, correct? Exactly. Okay, but isn't it the Quran already confirmed that uh, Jacob and Isaac and Ishmael they are messengers? Of course. How does that disprove my point? That no, no. Hold Abraham, on. Hold on. Hold on. No, 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 I no. ask you. Hold on. Hold on. This is the contradiction. <laughs> this is the contradiction. This is the contradiction. Allah no, 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 told no. Allah told Abraham that from your uh -huh. children will be uh -huh. prophet, and now uh -huh. Abraham is asking Allah to make it from his uh -huh. children the prophets. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If I say to you, I will make a prophet from you. And then you pray you to me. Understand. Let me. And not only that, this is through. not the question. You see, no, your Muslims are you your Muslims are weird. You see, I did not say the Quran. Hold on, Abdul. I, I did not say. Hold, hold, hold on. Will I, you give me a time to speak? Just like, a, second, a, a, second, a, second, a second, a second, a second. I did not say that the Quran did not are say. Are we having a dialogue, please? Don't Let make me speak, lose my voice. For a minute. Don't make me lose my voice, please. So I did not say that the Quran did not mention that Ismail is a prophet. I, the question is, that's not my, that's hold my on, point, hold on, that's where, that's in Quran, point, where in the Quran, where in the Quran, my question is, where in the Quran, Allah will make from the children of Ishmael, the seed of Ishmael, okay. not Ishmael, from the seed of Ishmael will be a prophet. Are you done? Can I speak now? Yeah. 
Thank but you, but uh, do you understand the question now? Do you understand the question? Do you, under, stop, do you please, understand please. the question? No, I allow you to speak. Hold on. I allow you do to you speak. understand you the question? Speak. The question is where so, it says oh from the that children is, of Ishmael, of the seed will be. Of you. you are talking over me. I allow you to speak, but you don't allow me to speak. That's unfairness. I'm listening. That's unfairness, sir. Shut up and stalk. So, Stop in complaining. that verse that you just read, in that verse you just read, hello? Uh -huh. In that verse, just in that passage, uh -huh. Ishmael was together with Abraham. They were building the Kaaba and praying. So Ishmael is already a prophet then. And they're praying. Who is the, who is the one who is praying? God should, oh my, <laughs> that's your, that's who is the one is, who is the one is, who is the one is a praying? That's rule of you, sir. Who is the one who is? And yet you are interrupting me. I allow you to finish, sir. Okay, go ahead. Hello? Hello, hello. Thank you. So, so in that verse, Ishmael was together with Abraham. Hmm. They were praying to God to send a prophet among their own descendants. And according to all tafsir of Muslims, that prophet is Muhammad. So wonderful, it's to wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. wonderful. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now we got the conclusion. Finish, Hold on. Now we get the conclusion. Finish, shut sir. up, shut up. Like so it is not in the Quran. Like it's finish. not in the Quran. Shut up, shut up, shut up. It's Why my time to answer. Hold on. You say you, you said you find in the tafsir. You find in the tafsir. Shut up. We can't talk in the same time. Hold on. You said. You I said, just confirm to you that listen, listen. Ishmael together with Abraham. I will give you the time to answer. Don't force me to hang up on you. Potato. So according to all the of Muslims, Stop who, is that is, who is that prophet? Okay. Who is the prophet who is going to be from the seed of Ishmael? Can you show me in the Quran where oh, it's... Hold now on. So now changing. you said to me, now hold on. Changing. We cannot, now we cannot talk in the same time. Ishmael. Shut up. I'm losing my voice. Do you see how stupid they are? In the tafsir of Ibn Kathir, it says that that prophet is Muhammad. <laughs> I said to them, where in the Quran? <laughs> they said to me in the tafsir of uh, Ibn Kathir, that is, you know, like what the heck? <laughs> So I will call you again, and I want you to explain to me why in the world you did that to your prophet. So here they are making supplication to make profit from their seeds, but the Quran already confirmed to Abraham that he have a prophet from his seeds. Not only that, he told them that Isaac is a prophet, Jacob is a prophet, Ishmael is a prophet, but when it's come to the seed, the Quran make it so clear. Only from the seed of Isaac and Jacob. So the question was, why the stupid Quran did not mention, where it mentioned, that from the seed of Ishmael, there will be the prophethood. This guy, he gave me a prayer. Ishmael is praying to Allah, not Allah saying to Muhammad or saying to, to Ishmael, I will make from your seed. <laughs> hey, let's call him again. <laughs> you will not let me talk. I can make a prayer too. You can make a prayer too. But the prayer, it can be accepted. It can be rejected. So you say to me in Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir is the one who is, is your God? <laughs> I'm trying to call him again. I have to hang up on him because he will not let me talk. He is not answering. Let us call him again. <laughs> I'm losing my voice. <laughs> So Abraham and Isaac, they are making prayer to Allah. <laughs> hello. Oh, hello. So did you hear what I said? Hello. Did you hear what I said? Hello. Did you hear what I said? <clears throat> hello. Did you hear what I said? 
Hello. Hello, my friend. Come on. It's just stupid. Hello, hello. Give me a break. Can we find a one Muslim who have even good internet? He have a good hearing. Hello. 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 Do we have any Muhammadan? The verse you give me, it's a prayer. Do you hear me now? Do you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I hear you. What are you hearing me? Why did you cut me off, sir? Why did you cut you, me you off? don't let me talk. We cannot talk in the I same time. No, what I'm talking we cannot, about, let us make an I agreement. Let, let us make an agreement. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can we make an agreement? Exactly. Okay. I will give you two minutes. I will take two minutes. Is that fair? Okay, no problem. Okay. So I'm going to use hold on. I'm, I'm going to use I'm going to use your Skype as a clock for your time. So now it is zero thirty eight thirty nine. The minute two minutes is yours. Go ahead. So the bone of contention is that whether the Quran affirms that among the descendants of Ishmael there will be a prophet. And I just proved from the Quran, Surah 2, Ayah 127 to 30, that in the Quran it is affirmed that among the descendants of Ishmael there will be a prophet. And according to Al Muslim Tafsir, they agree that the that, that prophet is Prayer Muhammad. So it is confirmed in the Quran, and that is the bone of contention. And as for your second uh, claim that you brought, it is, it's your friend that brought your, your case to me that you say Allah is not mentioned in the Quran. I mean, I mean, so that Allah is not mentioned in the Bible. But why would you want to expect the word Allah in the Bible when the Bible is not in Arabic? At least we have the, the, the Torah maybe in Hebrew and the New Testament in Greek. So how do you expect to find the word Allah? And if you say the word Allah is not in the Bible, then you are convincing yourself because in the Christian Bible, the word Allah is there. So I don't know what argument you are trying to make saying that Allah is not in the Bible. Okay, fine. If Allah is not in the Bible, then it means you are insulting all the Arabic Christian because the Arab Christian they use Allah in their Bible. So you are just I don't know how to to, to call this whether it is just uh, <laughs> honest because it's it's laughable to say that Allah is not in the Bible because we know the Arabs even when they want to use God in their Bible they put Allah. So I don't know who is wrong between you and them. So that's just that's just point I want to make here. I don't know whether you have any because these are the two cases your your, your friend brought to me which I think I have to speak upon. So that's that. Okay, done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Okay, you, you finish before the two minutes is over. But anyway, look what you just did. Don't talk now. Let me talk. So we made an agreement. I asked you where in the Quran it says from the children of Ishmael, there will be prophet. You gave me a prayer. Someone is praying. His name is Abraham and Ishmael to Allah to make from their children's prophets not where it says actually it says here a messenger and the muslim they claim that messenger is different from prophet rasulan not a prophet it's in front of you in arabic it says and send from them rasulan and you muslims are the one who differentiate between prophet and messenger so the prayer was for a messenger, not for a prophet. This is number 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 one. Number two, it's a prayer. Muhammad, he asked Allah for forgiveness. Adam, he asked Allah for forgiveness. You ask Allah for forgiveness. But this is just a prayer. This is not Allah saying, I will make from your children a prophet. So you gave me a very funny answer and saying to me, that this messenger is Muhammad. Remember, this is your tafsir, that's not the Quran. We said, give me from the Quran. So the Quran, the verse you gave me, it's a messenger that prophet. You say to me, and you must claim that Muhammad is a prophet and he is a messenger at the same time. So, but here it mentioned only a messenger. The prayer was for a messenger, not for a prophet. Secondly, the other verse said Allah, he gave from the childhood and he mentioned Jacob and Isaac. The Quran never mentioned from the seed of Ishmael that will be a prophet in your book as you see and now you uh, you, you you change the topic you says that the word Allah appear in the Arabic Bible that's because you're an idiot the Quran as an example use the word Isaac Jacob 
but in Arabic it doesn't say that. The Quran says Isa, but in the Muslim translated book they say Jesus. So the Arab, because they live under the Islamic occupation, in the translation, they use the word Allah. The same as in all Islamic countries where Christians live under the Islamic occupation, like Indonesia, Malaysia, etc. So this is a false translation, and the word Allah never exists in our book. So now we go back to zero. You gave me a verse that Allah saying that Abraham and Isaac, sorry, Abraham and Ishmael, they prayed to me. Why Isaac and Jacob are not praying to Allah to make it from their progeny children who they are prophet? Because he promised them already that. And the mic is yours. Two minutes for you. Okay, thank you. Uh, the argument you raise are just uh, a way to divert because your claim is to prove from the Quran that where it is said in the Quran that a prophet will come from the son of Ishmael, and I just gave you one. So it's not the only thing on you to prove that that prayer was not answered. The only thing on you to prove that that prayer is not answered by Allah, because we know that Allah answered the prayer because it's a reality that a prophet came. Of course, it came is a reality. So the only thing on you now to prove that that prayer was not answered, the prayer by, of Abraham and Ishmael. That's the one. Then number two, you said it said Rasulan. It didn't say. Uh, uh, maybe Nabi. How does that disprove the argument that, okay, so if somebody has a title, do I have to mention all the title? <laughs> Please, like, honestly, if I call you one title, it it's suffices for the whole thing. Sometimes people who will call it Jesus Christ, son of David, they will call him Jesus. Does, does that mean they have to call him all the names, all the titles? Doesn't make sense. So again, as for the Christian, you say that I'm sorry, as for Jacob, that Allah mentioned Jacob, Isaac, and not, and, and, and not Ishmael. This is just a way to differentiate that they are coming along the different line. Along different line. We have line of Jewish prophets coming from Isaac, Jacob, David, Solomon, all the way through. Then on the other side, you have prophets from the Ishmael side. So just because God differentiates them along their line doesn't mean that Ishmael cannot be a, a prophet. In fact, that distinction proves that Allah knows that among, I mean, from, the, from, from Isaac, there will be a line of messengers to the Jewish people. On the other hand, there will be a prophet too from Ishmael for the, for the Arabians and then to the whole world. Then finally, you said that uh, Allah is not in your, in, in your Bible. Tell me in the Arabic, what is the name for God? Don't tell me it's Rab, because Rab just means Lord. So tell me, what is the word? Since you said the word is not Allah, tell me what is what do the Arab you uh, sh 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 use for Allah? I mean for God Almighty. Don't tell me Elohim because Elohim is not Arabic. Don't tell me uh, Tios because Tios is, is not Arabic. So the honor is not on you because you are making claims. So the honor is on you to prove what is the word for Almighty God in Arabic. Since you say it's not Allah, so that so up to you now. Well done. Yeah, I'm done. Let us we can we can manage that uh, name in Arabic because you are just being an idiot for a very simple reason because we cannot translate the name of God from Hebrew to Arabic. So you are saying to me what the name of God in Arabic? You are an idiot. Elohim cannot be translated. That's why we say don't talk. It's my time. We cannot translate it because simply it's Elohim. As an example, the name of Jesus is Yeshua. How you translate a name? You are an idiot. And this is why when I say to you. In the Quran, it says Isa, you Muslim translate in English into Jesus, but the fact there's no Yeshua and there's no Jesus. So you Muslims are a bunch of flyers in your book. You added Jesus when he's not there. Now we go back and you will find that you made a bigger problem. You said to me, I gave you a verse saying that he pray that to Allah and there is no proof that Allah did not answer. But shouldn't you yourself give me the proof? You are asking me for the proof. I'm the one who's challenging you. You are a very silly lawyer in the court. In the same time, why they are asking Allah to make from their children a prophet if already Allah, he told Abraham, I, Jacob and Isaac from their seed will be a prophet. In the top of that, I will make a very simple question for you. And I hope when you take the microphone, you will not change the topic. Was Ishmael, 
Remember, you are the one who mentioned to me the chapter which we did read. Read that uh, Ishmael and Abraham they did rise and build the Kaaba. So listen carefully to the question, so people will not laugh at you, please. Can you confirm that Ishmael and Abraham they are the one who was building the Kaaba? If there is any way we can find a proof that Ishmael and Abraham never been in Mecca. Don't tell me you did not hear the question and focus with me. If there is any way to prove to me that Abraham and Ishmael, they were in the Kaaba and they are the one who built the Kaaba and they are the first people who came to Mecca. The mic is yours. Thank you. Uh, first of all, you said there is no word for Almighty God in Arabic. This is an insult to the Arab Christian all over the world. You say it's simply Elohim. Elohim is Hebrew. So why do you want to transport the name from Hebrew to the Arab? Oh, this is an insult to the Arab Christian. Honestly, this is an insult to them. That is that it is Allah. In, and if you say it's not Allah, that means you are insulting all the, uh, the, uh, the Arab Christian all, all over the world. Both their scholars, everybody, and that's unfair of you. Then you said, why do we use uh, Jesus in our translation? It is Isa in Arabic. The Arab doesn't use Yeshua or Yeshua because they know that in the Arabic version, it's different. In fact, before Allah revealed the Quran, what do the Arab know the Jesus to, to, I mean, to be? He, he, his name in Arabic. That's a question for you. So the Quran is only using what you are familiar with. Not that the Quran is inverting a new world. So I don't know whether you are going to blame all the Arabs before the Quran was revealed for calling Jesus Asa or for calling Jacob Yaqub. <laughs> I don't know whether I don't you are just condemning the Arab heritage. This is a few of you. So the Quran is using what the Arabs are always are already familiar with, what they understand to be their own language, how they have taken it from the Hebrew to modern to change into the Arabic form. So come back and tell me that those Arabs are fools. And then insult all Arabic heritage. I want, to, I want to see you come back and say that. Then you are not asking me a question that, oh, Allah mentioned Jacob, Isaac. I have explained this. Allah mentioned Isaac, Jacob, because along the line of Isaac, there are going to be prophets. That doesn't mean that Ab uh, Ishmael on the other side cannot have a prophet. And I give you proof in the Quran that the Quran affirms that among the children of Ishmael, there will be a prophet. You are not, you are not telling me that. Where is the proof? The, the proof is reality. Muhammad is a reality. Unless you can say Muhammad doesn't, doesn't exist. So Allah accepted that prayer. You cannot prove to us that Allah didn't accept that prayer. Now you're asking me to tell you who built the Kaaba. This is, a, you are, do not change the goalpost. What type of proof do you want? Is it historical proof or what? Even if I don't have proof, like a historical proof or a, a video to show you when Ishmael and Abraham was building. Can you do the same if I ask you to tell me in your Bible how, for example, David built the, the temple or Solomon? You cannot give me that. So what of evidence do you want to, for me to prove that Abraham built the Kaaba? I can give you the evidences I, I have at hand, both the scriptural one and the one that were present in our Islamic sources based on the history of the Arabian Peninsula. Like, for example, those uh, pagans, when their idols were removed from the Kaaba, they also saw the photograph of Abraham and Ishmael, and the prophet cursed them for what they did. So that's even an artifact that the Arabs believe that it was Abraham and Ishmael who raised the foundation of the, of, the, of the Kaaba. So what kind of evidence do you need? So the mic is up to you, sir. All right. So you see, I ask so you, listen carefully, you, change, you, you, talk, you are all over the place, you are speaking about 50 uh, things at the same time. You are the one who mentioned to me these verses. It says that Abraham and Ishmael, they built the Kaaba. I said, if there is any proof, they did. Let me make it more simple. And now you will take the microphone and you will repeat yourself again because you have no answer. You said to me, oh, you know, I can ask you the same question from the Bible, which means you are saying you cannot prove it. This is number one. Number two is, this is the question, listen carefully. Don't be blah, 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 blah. Listen, if there is uh, when the Quran says 
that Allah he sent Abraham and Ishmael and they are the one who built the Kaaba do you agree that they are in Mecca now and the Kaaba in Mecca and they are messenger of God both of them Abraham and Ishmael I will give you the mic don't give me a speech for 10 hours please and give me the mic back with the answer so is Abraham and Ishmael do you believe I'm not going to ask you for a proof forget about it because obviously you don't have any so is, is Abraham and Ishmael did they build the Kaaba in Mecca and they were in Mecca and as long you are saying that Ishmael he is Muhammad is from the seed of Ishmael that means Ishmael prophethood continue all the way to Muhammad which means the people of Ishmael they knew God they knew Allah and they worship Allah through Ishmael do you agree with that the mic is yours and don't speak forever please go ahead yes they are both prophet of God so they are both prophets of God so I don't know the question you're actually asking I don't know what question you're asking honestly let me repeat let me repeat hold on so as long I'm not asking you if both are prophet from God or not I don't know why I don't understand I'm saying as long Abraham and Ishmael both they were in Mecca that mean they are prophet of Allah were in Mecca and for sure as long you are saying to me Muhammad is from the seed of Ishmael that mean Ishmael he lived in Mecca and he taught his people about Allah and he warned them about Allah do you agree with that yes thank you very much can I have a mic back yes 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 all right so how you explain to me the Quran that Allah he said nobody came before you Muhammad as a warner nobody okay listen carefully listen carefully don't don't talk yet the Quran said not even a single messenger came to you in chapter 34 verse number 44 they never been given books and they never have a warner ever before thee the mic is yours thank you so much so Ishmael was a prophet of God and he lived a message of God but along the way the Israelites I mean the Arabs they slide into idolatry just like the Jew slide back into idolatry after Moses so they slide back into idolatry and then <clears throat> Allah sent the prophets to the courage because like I said the Ishmaelites the Arabs hello I'm listening so when 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 the Quran says that you are not sent to them, I, I mean no prayer have was sent to them, you are mixing up the object of reference here. Those that that it was directed, they are the courage at that time, the pagans, that Allah never sent a prayer to them, not the Ishmaelites in general, no, but the specific courage at that time. Allah said He was never sent to them a prophet, and He has never given them a book. So them they are them they are the courage at that time, not some many years back when Ishmael was and his people were around. No, it was referring to the Jews, just like Jesus told the uh the the, the Jews that you have never had the word the, uh, the, the word of God before. So he was referring to the particular Pharisees at his at, 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 of his own time, not the Jew or the Pharisees entirely. So when the Quran says that. No prayer has was was been sent to the to them. That them meaning the Quraysh and the Arabs as of that time. So that is that. All right. Are you done? Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Well, if you know how to read, my friend, it says, we never sent a book or a warner before you, which means before your existence. But yet you are saying to me, this is for the people of Quraysh, but you forgot that the Quran says. Ilayhim qablaka before you before you so we are talking about the past not on the present so again you gave me a foolish answer so the Quran confirmed that neither Abraham neither Ishmael they ever came to Mecca why two reasons they never be given a book but the Quran says that Abraham have a book 
I'm not going to ask you what the book of Ishmael because everybody will die laughing because you don't have any which is a proven again that the lie about Ishmael to be a prophet is a joke nowhere in the Quran mentioned that but let us focus on this one nobody and you mentioned to me he's talking to the people of Quraysh at that time but I thought the people of Quraysh they are children of Ishmael so nobody before warned them nobody before gave them a scriptures they never have a scripture zero zero before you a warner not in the present so you did lie and you said this is about at that time can you tell me where you get the word at that time from go ahead thank you now these are what i call selective and bias of christian when jesus was speaking to the jews saying that you never had the word of god before was he referring to all the Jews? No, he was referring to those present, not the Jews, because we know that during the baptism, the voice of God came down from the heavens, and those friends had the voice of God, according to the Bible. But when Christ told the Jews that you have never heard the word of God before, you have never seen his form, was he referring to all the Jews of all time? No. So again, you are being biased. When it comes to your Bible, you know how to you know how to interpret it. But when I give my own interpretation, you now reject it. That's bias. That's hypocrisy. So, no prophet was sent to them before you. Is talking about the courage that, at that time, that time, that milieu, that generation. Not any. If if you want to insist that it was talking about all the Arab, then you have condemned Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ said to the Jew. You have never heard what I've heard before. And we know that the Jew doesn't just limit to those present, but all the Jews. So I don't know what kind of interpretative uh, tool you are, you are using here, trying to insist that, oh, no, it must be all the Arabs. If that is the case, then you just condemn what Jesus Christ said, that you have never heard the word of God before, never have you seen his form. But we know that during the baptism, the word of God came down from heaven, and they all heard him saying that, you are my beloved soul. So I don't know what kind of tools are you using here. Huh? Back to you, sir. Can you do me a favor? Don't repeat the same thing because you are repeating yourself again and again. I mean, you gave me the answer. Make it short and don't repeat the same again. You know, you are very talkative. I like that, you know. But look what you did. You said to me he is talking to people at that time, but you are stupid. This is a talk to Muhammad, not to the people, you no, idiot. I, I, shut up, shut up, me. it's my time. Shut I, up, I, shut I, up, I, shut I, up. It's my time. We made an agreement. Be a man, be a man, be a man, be a man. We made an agreement. Here we go. His Rasul is out of control. You promise me you will not shut up, shut up. Just piece of garbage. You stupid idiot, you can't even keep your promise. I'm listening, are you done? You give me the microphone. Potato, because now I close the door over your tail. It says, it's still talking to Muhammad, not to them. This is not a statement Allah, he said to the Muslims or Quraysh, you donkey. This is a statement he made to Muhammad. Idiot. He's not talking to the tribe of Quraysh. Secondly, when you say he is mentioning people at that time, for sure. But still, if they never heard of a book before, that means no book at that time ever was came to them. Which means between Muhammad and Jesus, there is 600 years. So if I say to the Christians, no book came before you, you know, to you. So that means 600 years, there's no book came, right? But here it says, they never have a book. Here it says, they never had a warner. Not for that period, they never have a book. No, they never, ever, ever had a book. And now because we made you siege kebab, you start talking, you cannot hold yourself, blah, 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 blah. So look what the Muhammadan did to themselves. In one hand, they claim that Allah is God. In the other hand, Allah, he says stupid things. No war nor came to Mecca. No books ever came to Mecca. Which mean Allah never ever sent a messenger to Mecca. If we go in the Quran, we will find 
Muhammed saying that Abraham he have Suhuf. If we ask the Muslim, by the way, what is the name of the book of Ishmael, you will die laughing. They will spend 10,000 years, you will not find one. And this is actually a proof that Ishmael in their religion is a shish kebab. I mean, they made him a prophet to claim that Muhammad is from his seed. What the name of the book of Ishmael? Nobody knows. If you go in the Quran, it says chapter 87, verse number 19. Suhufi, Suhufu Ibrahim wa Musa. The scroll of Abraham and Moses. Abraham and Moses. So the Muslim, the Islam confirmed that Abraham have scriptures. But if we go to the verse we are reading, it says they never ever receive scriptures. So Muhammad, he lied when he claimed that nobody before him was a warner. Isn't it Abraham a warner? Isn't it Ishmael a warner? I asked this Abdul, I said, do you agree with me that Ishmael and Abraham, they live in Mecca and they warn, I use that word, and they warn the people about Allah? He said, yes. So I do not need to be exist in every generation. Because a human being, he lived for a short time. You don't live for a thousand of years, unless you are Jesus. So, did he warn them? He said yes. Where? In Mecca. I asked him, they were in Mecca, and they warned the people of Mecca, and as long as Ishmael is the father of the people of Mecca, that means he warned them. And that means there is nobody between Ishmael and Muhammad as a warner for the people of Mecca. But the verse here says, we never send before thee a warner, which means they never have a warner. And not only that, they never receive a book, so Abraham never was there. Because as you see, the Quran confirmed that Abraham has books, you know. Abraham, he do have books, and his books, it's called Suhuf as we see in chapter 87, verse number 19, the last verse in, the, in, the, in that chapter. So now we find out that the name of the God of Islam is mentioned by the Arab. Allah is mentioned by the Arab. The guy, he said to me, so what the Muslim, what the name of Jesus in Arabic, Yeshua, not Isa, which is the same as Yeshua. Different in the dialect you speak. Yeshua, Yeshua. This is the name of Jesus in Arabic. There's no Christian in the, in the Middle East ever will use the word Isa. Muhammad the idiot, he heard that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, which is wrong because according to the Bible, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, sister of Musa, she did not even get married. But the idiot, he lived between the Jews. He heard that Maryam, she have a child. His name is Isa. Muhammad, he made him the, the son of Maryam. And this is why in the Quran, he says, Maryam, the sister of Aaron. And this is why if we go in the Quran, we will find that the idiot Muhammad, he made the father of Musa, is the father of Mary, Imran. If you go to chapter 3 in the Quran, what the name of the chapter? Ali Imran. If you go in the Bible, you will find that the father of Musa, his name is Umram. Even the stupid Muhammad could not even quote the name correctly. So Imran, if you ask the Muslim themselves, who is the father of Musa? They will say Imran, the same name in the Quran. But if you read here with me, you will find that Imran is the father of Mary. <laughs> And this is why Jesus is the nephew of Musa's. <laughs> if you read with me here in chapter uh, 3, verse number 35, and when the wife of Amron said, Lord, I have vowed to thee in dictation, what is within my, within my womb? Receive thee, thee from me, nearest to know this. Okay, and then she gave birth to us a son. His name is Isa, and he is the son of Maryam, and his uncle is Moses. And the Edith Muhammad, 
he changed all names and he has messed up with history. So suddenly Imran is the father, the grandfather of Jesus. And Mary, she is the daughter of the father of Moses. Why? Because Muhammad was confused about Maryam, the sister of Moses. But, but the, the, this, the disaster continue. And then now not even a single Muslim tell us, who is Allah? They don't know what the word mean. And they say to me, in the Arabic Bible, it says in the, this is translation. This is a translation. Jesus did not speak Arabic. And he said to me, what the word, uh, 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 the name of God in Arabic, you stupid. We do not have a name of God in Arabic because we are Arab. The Gomai, we learn about God from the Hebrew. So how we will have a name in our language? The same as you, when you use the word Allah, is that in your language? No. You said to me from the Quran, so you're stupid. Your Quran, you use the word Allah, you use Allah. How I can translate Allah? I cannot. Allah is a name. I can translate the name? No. I can translate a word, not a name. If somebody, his name is John, and I'm talking about a name, I will say John. If you translate the word, that means you are talking about something, you know, a topic. You are not mentioning a person. But the second you mention a person, that is a name cannot be translated, should not be translated. So until now, they have a big failure. And this is why this guy, he went so crazy. The second I asked him, and look, now he is not calling no more. You know, let me call him back. <laughs> I hope he does not have a heart attack. <laughs> Maybe he's offline now. Maybe he will take a vacation. Yeah, he is not. Do you see how stupid this religion is? So, Muhammad is the first ever person to warn them. So how even the Arab then they worship Allah? The Arab, the pagan, they worship Allah already. And this is additional proof that the God of Islam is a pagan. You know, when the Muslim, they say the word Mushrikeen. Mushrikeen. What Mushrikeen mean? There's a video of a sheikh, his name Asim Al-Hakim. He explained that the Arab the people of Quraysh, they worship Allah. They are pagan, yeah? They worship Allah. So what the Muslim they share with the pagan? One God. Hello? Okay. Yes, uh, Jaguar, how are you doing? Um, I don't know how we can talk while you are belittling or insulting my prophet or faith you know in well Islam, don't talk don't who is holding you don't don't call me crying out saying you're insulting my prophet no, and you are crying. saying to me how no, i, I can't talk like nobody a, is forcing I you to talk like a grown person i'm not sure if you're 12, hold on hold on, hold on. Years are old you against are you against insult are you against insult why would you insult Should i'm asking you are you against um, are you against are, are you against oh insult? God, we cannot talk at the same that? time don't make me hang up on you are you against are you are you against insult are you against insult? Why should why would you have to? I've never seen someone preach I'm asking Islam you, are you against insulting insult? others? Oh my god, are I'm you still against, asking them are you against, against, uh, my insults or something. Are you against, Yo, what's are you against, you, are you against insult? Yes, okay. I am. So let me ask you, yeah, does the Quran does the Quran call us animals yeah. as a Christians? Huh? Huh? Does the Quran call us animals? In whom can an amu bil adul sabila? So the Quran yeah. call us animals, and that no, is no. not an insult. In terms, not, in terms of grasping the message of God, it means not so in terms of as long as hold on. No, um, no, no. Don't get me wrong. I'm hold not on, too hold on. Your so now you read. agree. So, so now relax. you agree that yeah. the Quran call me an animal because I don't believe in Allah. Correct? No, it don't. It don't. It don't. It's it's a parable, an example. It's man. a parable. In whom? 
Okay, yeah, I will, well, I will make a parable. No, 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 no. I will make first. a parable. Show me the first. You are like a donkey no, 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 no. I want in you understanding. To see. No, 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 don't say that. Don't say that, man. Stop lying about this Quran, man. It's in the front if you read it. No, where is it? So wait up. Let me play the. You don't know I, which I one? TV. Chapter twenty-five, verse forty-four. Oh my God! Do I have to always do these tasks? You said it's a parable. Google Prove it to me. It's a parable. Prove it to me. Prove it to me that Allah did not mean it. Did he say it was the same as animals? You said it's a parable. Prove it. Go ahead. Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! You are the oh one who called God, the verse for me. You do not know where it is. No, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. If Quran calls, um, oh, Alhamdulillah, you are an animal, worse than an animal, and this just proved me that. <laughs> oh my God! This is really relevant, man. You are worse than an animal. Okay, in whom can I have a So I have to quote the whole first, first of all. And let's see, because this is how we do it in Islam, by the way. Hello, Maybe. you're with me, right? I'm okay, nice. So, does it say we are worse in than whom, animals? In whom? Can, where up, where up, where up? You can't just say that in Islam, man. You, you don't go like that. You're stupid. That. You, you like yourself, that, you just did read that to me. You said to me they are Wait the worst of animals. You are worse than an animal. You, are you exactly. Asking me, you see, oh my God. Get rid of of Muta. People of Muta, they are insulting me. You are the worst of animals. Look what the Quran says. Those who do not know how to read the books they carry, the Quran called them donkeys. And that is your prophet. The Quran says the similarity between those who carry the Torah. Read with me carefully. Chapter 26. And that is exactly your prophet. Listen carefully. Does the Quran describe okay. your prophet as a donkey? Okay, okay. Please, please, man. Let's speak Does the Quran no, so describe your prophet as a donkey? Does, speak with them does the Quran in the best of does the Quran, Quran does the Quran does the Quran describe okay. your prophet as a donkey I, chapter I, I 62 first, verse number five chapter okay, okay, 60 chapter 62 describe verse number five describe Muhammad so as a donkey I'm, no no wait up wait up wait up wait up I'm tahsabu anna aktharuhum yasma'una aw yaqtulun in hum kal an'am bal adullu sabila right and okay so do you think that most of them here or reason they are not but like that of life yeah, like the example like that it means like that example of um livestock basically but mm. other sabila rather they are further in in, the, um, in loss when it comes to um the right path okay yeah, so that's if how somebody far, don't yeah. follow allah you can say to him you are the same as enemies yeah. correct no it says i'm tahsab and actor do you think that most of them it mm. does not mean someone specific it mm. means someone who, who has these qualities. Okay, so now we are almost listen, so we are almost three billion. Uh, so we are almost three billion like, human beings, most Christians, and most you, of them they are like enemies, right? No offense. Hmm. So now, now you admit that the Quran is Quran, us. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Well, what is, no, what is the word? Is hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What if I say better. most of yeah. the animals? If I say now the same you say to me in the verse, I will switch it to make it about the Muslim. If I say. The most of the Muslims are yeah. like animals. What you will say? You will say that an insult? No, I would ask you why. Okay, I will tell you why. Reason, you have man. sex with the children, yeah. like your You're prophet. Reason, you marry children. You have you. Hold on, let me answer. Let me answer. You have no, sex. Do that. You have sex we with children. Is it your prophet? Is it your prophet? He marry. Is it your prophet? He marry Aisha at the age of six. Why don't you preach what's going on in you in the USA? Actually. Okay. What is what? Yeah, what, but in your countries are the worst when it comes to children, man. Okay, so you can't. So you are saying to that. me, so you are saying so to me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everybody heard yeah. you, everybody heard you. You just said yeah, that yeah. the worst yeah. of the people are the worst who do that, and you said my country, but you're a prophet, he practiced what is the worst in my country 1400 years ago, so he's an animal. Oh my God! Relax, man. Relax, man. The reason why, why, why? you're listening, like, you said to me what, that the one who do that is an animal. You agree? You agree? Do you agree? Do you agree that the one who has <laughs> sex with the children is an animal? The one? Do you agree that the one who do sexual activities with the children is an animal? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So when you're a prophet, thank you, thank you for agreeing. I like that. So yeah, when you're a prophet, yeah. he marry Aisha. 
Was he an yeah. animal or a mule? No, he was not both. And you are getting it wrong. You are using it. What, what do you mean wrong? wrong Didn't, isn't it Aisha? Fact, she said, isn't okay, it Aisha? Tell she tell said he married me at the age of six. Let me tell you something. Listen, man, uh, yeah, this topic is really highly controversial. First of all, um, there are different uh, uh, conflicting hadith. So what conflicting? Say, okay, what what um, conflicting? Hold on, what what conflicting? What do you mean? Okay, yeah. So so two different narrations. One of them they say at nine, and and physically she was um, tall and whatever. They, and they, they used as an excuse. And others they said thirteen. Okay, can you show so me the hadith says she was thirteen? Around. Okay, hold on, hold on. So now, hold no, on, no. hold on, hold on. In the front of everybody, you are in the front of everybody. You will be Aisha, my hero. Way. Hold on, so hold, on hold on, hold on. Hold on. Right? Everybody will die laughing at you. You will be my hero if you yeah. can show me the hadith says she was thirteen. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. So I'm googling the whole thing. Hadith sure, is a watch. Sure, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Sure, sure. Hadith is a watch. Huh? He's googling it, guys. He will find it. Just wait. Hadith. Hmm. <laughs> you can call Andrew Tate. You know he can help you. Prophet Andrew Tate. This a long hadith, but let me just don't tell me long hadith. Give me the hadith number. We'll put the screen. Shut up. Listen, man. No, don't tell me what to you say. You are a potato. You are a liar. There is no such a hadith. I want to see it. I want to learn from you. I want to learn from you. Of course, you want to learn from me. Okay, give me the hadith number. Give me the hadith number. Okay, okay, wait. Hmm. Oh my God! This is really long. Don't say my God. So, say my Allah. Um, it's okay. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Of course, thank you for that. Hmm. <laughs> he just confirmed something good for me. Yeah. Okay. يا شيخ الكريم يفتح لي كل صبر معي الفرق بين المسلمين وغيرهم هو أن المسلم يتدبر بعقله قبل قلبه. Okay. This this is really long in this. Where up? So I'm, I'm trying to get to the hadith. Just get lost. I'm trying to get to the hadith. I, I will give you 10 years. Call me when you find it. 10 years, not 10 minutes, 10 years. You have a permission from me to call me 10 years from now to find me the hadith. This is a very long hadith. It's a long hadith, long hadith, long hadith. Oh my Allah, oh my Allah, oh my God, oh my God. Chicken. Chicken, all of you are chickens. And your God call us animals? Who is the animals? And he agreed that the one who has sex with the children is an animal. He agreed already that the one who does have sex with children is an animal. Can you believe it? And, I, and Aisha, she was 13. I'm glad he did not say 18. You know, the Muslim, they have article that she was 18. All right, did you find the hadith? Hello? Did you find Hello? The, did you find the hadith? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, give me so the okay. hadith. Give me the hadith number. Okay, so I was right when I said um it's argued, okay? But the it's hadith, what? I have to go with the sahih. Okay, listen, listen. I have to go with the sahih uh, hadith, okay? Mm. Uh-huh. The one that um uh, Ali Sassan, the prophet who um made with her age of nine years old my friend you said to me she was 13 and she was tall no that's a different hadith i said okay i said to you I give me the hadith if she I was there yeah, no 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 don't change topic you are, no, no, I okay both, either you I have to agree, agree. No, 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 either you have to agree that you are a liar and i said either you have to agree no, that you listen, are a liar there's no such a question for me listen no, no, I'm not if there is such a hadith, the for me. if there is a such listen, a hadith listen, at man. the age of 13, I'm saying, uh, listen, 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 listen. I don't so, want to listen. I, I, I'm, I want I'm an sure you're looking for Do you agree to, that um, there is no such a hadith? Listen, listen, potato. 
Do you agree that there's no such a hadith? Potato. You, you, yeah, Potato. You, you made it up. You made it up that it's she what was kind of human being are you, man? <laughs> okay, give me the hadith <laughs> of she was 13. Listen. Listen, okay. So while I'm searching, let me tell you something, man. The one who gave Aisha to the Prophet alayhi salatu salam. Shut up. You are a liar and you are a fraud like your prophet. You said she was 13 and you were sure five minutes ago. Five minutes after you changed the topic. Don't call me. Find the hadith that she was Listen, 13. You you so if you, are, if, like you that, agree, okay. if you agree, if you agree, if you agree that you did lie, be respectful. I will, I will continue with you. Do you agree? Me, do you agree you lied? Be respectful. You agree that you lied when you say What's 13. This nigga, man? Do you agree that you lied when you say 13? Yes or no? No. I, I... I'm asking, I'm looking for you. Okay, for look your for it and so call me only when you find it. Don't call me until you find it. You are a big fraud. Stop having an excuse. I need to find it. I mean, all this time you did not find it. Why? It's a secret. It's hidden by Muslims. You made it up and now you try to change the topic. And now you agreed that your prophet, he had sex with the children. If he did, you say it, everybody heard you. He is an animal. You said that, not me. And this is the hadith. And you said to me, you have to go with the Sahih. This is a Sahih. This is a Bukhari. I'm not showing you the book of the Jews. I'm not showing you the book of the Hindus. This is Al-Bukhari. And repeat it many, many times in every hadith book. And all of them, they say it's a sahih. It is sahih. And not only that, she was playing with her dolls. The wife of the messenger of Allah, she moved to his house with her dolls. And this is sahih. And they talk about insulting. They call us filthy, nudges, liars, kuffar, hypocrite, uh, uh, worse than animals, etc. And then, well, you are insulting my prophet. You are the one who insulted him now. You agree that the one who do such a thing, he is worse than animals. People, does it say in the front of you, this is Sahih Hadith, which means very authentic? She moved to the house of Muhammad with her dolls. Imagine what kind of wife she is carrying a bunch of dolls when she moved as a bride. So the Prophet now will sleep with her. And this is when she is even nine. And there is a hadith about Aisha where Muhammad, he entered upon her in his bedroom and she was playing with some dolls. And Muhammad, he asked her, what is this? She said, my daughters. What, what? My daughters. The Muslim, they falsely translate saying, dolls. That's false translation. The word here is Banat. She have daughters. Daughters are not daughters like, you know, a human being. Those are dolls. The first one is gone with the wind, he disappear. The second one he is going to find as the hadith that she was 13. There is no messenger came to Arabia. Abraham never was there. Ishmael never was there. The Quran confirmed that. And when they asked him where he says that from Muhammad, from Ishmael is going to be the children's will be, you know, they told me that's... Uh, uh, he will go on the verse. He's praying for a um, Rasul, not even a messenger. Was Muhammad Rasul or a messenger or, or a prophet? You see, Muslims are the one who differentiate between both. Messenger 
and prophet, not me. Muslims don't believe the same as we believe in, in everything. They say there's a messenger and there is a prophet. So the prayer was for a messenger, not for a prophet. But everything in the Quran confirmed the opposite. You know, uh, <laughs> do we have any smart Muslim would like to join us? May they, may they. So now, conclusion, after two hours talking, not a single Muslim told us what the word Allah mean. Not a single Muslim in this earth knows what Allah mean. Not a single scholar in Islam can tell us what Allah mean. Not Allah himself can tell us what Allah mean, neither Muhammad. Conclusion. Allah name is a theft from other religion. Allah, God la. Actually, the Quran mentioned the name of Allah in different place. Which one? Chapter 36. Chapter 36, verse number 1. Ya seen. Ya is a word meaning God. Seen or sin is the name of the God. If you search for sin, you will find it says exactly other name of the same God. La. La is the moon God. Sin is the moon God. Yeah, and look how funny this stupid religion is because they, they are stealing words from other belief. You don't know what the word it says. Yeah, seen. Allah knows best what he meant by those letters. <laughs> <laughs> and the funny is the Quran says that Allah he explained the Quran in great details great details and then they say to us Allah knows best what he meant by those details so how he explained in great details but nobody knows what those details is about hmm yeah sin what the heck is that? And you will find every Muslim cleric try to explain it according you know, to give you a different meaning. I mean, as much as you can imagine. It's like going to a grocery store. Maybe it may maybe he mean candies, maybe he mean cho I mean chocolate, maybe he means Zachar Nag. Christian Prince, I told you, never mention my name. Zachar Nag, don't you see where you know this is messed up, man? What yes sin mean? Christian Prince. First of all, Allah, he speak many languages. And this is why we don't understand. So Allah, he said in the Quran, we made it for you clear Arabic. And you are saying to me, we don't understand because this is a different language. Exactly. So why he's saying this is a clear Arabic if it's not Arabic? Great and Prince. First of all, Allah, he like to give you that. Uh -huh. Yes, in the Quran, he said, Allah is the bit of the deceiver. So what, Allah is deceiving you? Exactly. The Quran said that in the Quran, what the heck is that? What mutashabahat? You speak Arabic, is that kind of name? I don't speak Arabic. So why are you are saying to me in Arabic? Because I want to confuse you. Uh, okay, can we bust it? So the Quran is explained in a clear details, but the Quran says there's no, there's verses in the Quran, nobody knows what they mean save Allah. And those who have knowledge, they say we believe. Look at this drama. Oh boy. Do we have any Muhammad that would like to call us? The first one is not answering. The one we showed him. Uh, I am a Christian from Nigeria. My friend, don't text me, call me from Nigeria. Thank you very much. We want Muslims. Okay. Any Muhammadan? Please, if you have a comment, don't send it to me in Skype. Send it to me in the chat here. We're going to leave a Skype for the Muhammadan. So there is no... Abraham never was in the Kaaba. It's a lie. I mean, okay. You know, Abraham, he built the Kaaba. Why he did not die in the Kaaba? So what Jerusalem is about? 
I mean, this guy, he have a summer house and a winter house, maybe? Like he used to fly, you know, take his jet and he fly from city to city. And why anyone in the world want to go to Mecca? It's a desert. There's nothing. I mean, this God, Allah, he could not find a better location for his city is except the city oven. This is an oven. It reached up to 60 degree. You will be barbecued. 50 degree in the shade. In the shade. You will be literally burned. And this God, he chosen a location where it's going to be flooded by the pupu of Quraysh every year. If I go right now and search, For this, isn't it the Muslim they keep saying to us, the Kaaba is a location chosen by Allah, and Allah He sent even a message to Adam, and He sent him the black stone to tell him what location is. So He had give him a very precise location, and look at the location. The pupu is gathering the Kaaba. This is the truck is trying to suck the poopoo from the street. Omar Rabbi Oman. Mecca, the worst location in the world. Little rain will make a disaster. And the Kaaba will be covered by poop. Literally. Allah, he chosen the location. Who can choose better location than Allah? Nobody. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to say anything? Guys, are you having a good time? By the way, I offer you the Kaaba for sale in eBay in case you like to have your house in a place where the poop will and the dirt and the piss of old town come to your house Fill it free and make an offer. This is the God location, chosen location, his house in earth. I mean, cannot Allah, he raise it this thing a few meters up, just a few meters, so the poopoo -poo will not go there. If you ask an engineer to choose a location for your house, and then you find that your house is where the whole poop of the town come to you. Aren't you going to be so upset and angry from a stupid engineer? Shouldn't he study the flood, the height, the, the, the height of the land? The, I mean, very. This is very simple. Hmm. Do we have any Mohammedan? Look at this guy. This guy is even swimming. He's taking a, he's taking a swim. And this is, you know, this is not long time ago because this is when the cameras exist. You know, when the cameras start coming to Saudi Arabia, and remember, everything come to them late as usual. Uh, and thanks to the oil money, and now they have marble around the Kaaba. They build dams and sewage so that the, the you know, so Allah could not stop it. The engineering of America, the engineers of America, brother, they are the one who is working hard to stop the flood of the Kaaba, Al Jazeera.com. Hmm. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? May they, may they, may they. If there is any Muhammadan would like to join us live, as you see, your brothers are collapsing like bad fruits from a bad tree 
Aisha, she was 13. Where you got this from? He cannot find it. Muhammad is a prophet. Where you got this from? From the Quran. So I make a book by my hand, and this is the proof that I'm a prophet. <laughs> hey guys, I'm writing a book about myself, and I will call the book The Arabian Prophet. And I will announce myself as a prophet. And let me make the first prophecy live on air for you. Tomorrow is going to be Tuesday. If you live in USA. However, I want to make an additional prophecy. It's already Tuesday if you live in Indonesia. Don't ask me how I know that. Allah told me I have additional prophecy there's many women this month will have their period and there is many they will not it's okay it's okay calm down you are astonished and you know it I have even more pro prophecy to mention to you the sky is a blue and your mother-in-law don't like you. Please, please, I want to be humble. I don't want to mention to you how I know this information because God, Allah, told me not to tell you. And I discovered that the sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the women, they have a sperm coming from their ears. Well, that makes sense why they put their ear in, in their ears and they are making a hole there. Hello, it's obvious. Do we have any Muhammadan? How about your mother-in-law? My friend, you are single, you wanna fool me? You forgot that last scream, you told me you are single? Hello? Okay, and I prophesy that this guy is single. And please, if you are married, don't mention that in the chat. You say, how you know? Like, be astonished. I will pay you, okay? Like, what the heck? How you know I'm single? What? Man, amazing. You know? Do we have any Muhammadan here want to say anything to defend his religion? What Allah mean? You do not know. Who is Allah? You do not know. Where is Allah? You do not know. So what do you know? You are worshipping an unknown God. Deal with it. Otherwise, prove me wrong. You don't know anything about your God. 